you know, when I do a big playthrough, let's face it, there's people out there who still do. This is how you don't play videos. Is this the outsider? Yes, this is the outsider. You know you love to see outsider content. Yeah! <laughs> you want to watch good stuff? Again, watch the the fun this is how you don't plays and stuff. Those are fun. Those are intelligent. You know, the, the evil AJ stuff. Who was the other one? Outsider, was it? Who made good ones? I heard those are really good. Watch those. Those at least criticize something validly and say, you know, Phil was a buffoon in games. Here's why. Hello, everyone. And welcome. It is time again to check out an epic game. Oh my god. I thought the cringe was over. I was mistaken. This time around, my attitude to the second game in this supposed Final Fantasy VII trilogy is a lot different than my attitude when Remake came out many years ago. <gasps> oh my god! To see what's gonna happen. I mean, right now below me on screen is Zack Fair, a character who is not alive in the original Final Fantasy VII and will very much be so moving forward in this one. So, I'm pumped. This is actually one of my biggest game playthroughs of the year, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth here on the PS5. And I'm playing a crap ton of it this launch week and more. Uh, let's just jump in and let's see what's gonna happen. Shout out to Big Ocho, seven months as a supporter. Thank you so much. And Walk Warrior also, three months. Appreciate you guys. Here we are. Active combat style. Good lord, that's a lot of options. DC with a haiku here, but we can't read it because we got the intro going. Sorry, DC, we'll have to come back to it after. Waiting, Cloud. Yeah, I'm waiting too. I'm gonna shove this Buster Sword right up your I'm new wall. You know what? Midgar Expressway. We can't hear you. Your voice is too muffled to the stupid speaker. What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? Look out for the speaker. Take the marbles out of your mouth. Here you go, we need to feed it. Here you go. Please, Kogan, don't go to the front, let's go to the front. Let's get Kogan, I can't understand you. This is so messed up. <laughs> All of it. Now, wait a minute. Does he remember he was dead? Because cause this is a multiverse now, right? So does, does he know that he died and he was basically just revived at all? Or for him, was this just a completely different strand of existence where he was in another dimension where he never died? <clears throat> but he's crossed over into this one? It's very confusing, the way they did it at the end of Remake. So we have to see how this pans out in the, uh... Come on, man. Do you want to play the fucking game? Sir, just kill me. Me? I always just, you know, zone you guys out. I don't pay attention to anything you say. Not the Ni Nibel region five years ago. Is it Nibelheim or Nibelheim? I thought it was Nibelheim, but I used to say Nibelheim, so now I don't know how you say it. So it was the Nibel region five years ago. <clears throat> okay, it's a flashback. Nibelheim? No, Nibel? It's Nibel? Nibelheim? Like you're nibbling on something? That's weird. <laughs> Nibelheim. Man, why didn't you warn me about those chili cheese dogs? My guts are really tearing me up here. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. See? Should have brought him some Alka Seltzer or something. Ready to do this? How rude. Yeah, you bet. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with you, Ty. Stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Why is he so smiley? Another one of those Turks gigs. Haha. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim. So it's not Nibble, it's Nibel. That's where I go. So it was the Nibel region in Nibelheim. Okay, I was wrong. <clears throat> now, I know things about the Final Fantasy VII plot. Many of you maybe don't, so I don't want to spoil right now. I'm not going to spoil some important things about the plot that will probably be revealed later, so. Wait in the truck. No way. Wait in the I truck. Uh. 
You get to play as Sevidal! Sevidal's! Oh, oh, Hey, noisy idiot. That's all he's a noisy idiot. Ooh, 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 ooh. Shut the fuck up. Sevidal's! Look of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared. So hold on. So this is the real Gru after they've escaped this Midgar in the real ending of Final Fantasy Remake. Final Fantasy VII Remake. So Zack is technically in another dimension where Aerith died even earlier in the plot line. So when does he cross over? I guess we're going to find out. <clears throat> Desperate. The villagers try. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. I was almost showing an emotion there. <laughs> He's like, wait, you put on my makeup? Yeah, complete. Blush, lipstick, everything. Eyeliner, I loved it. I was complimented by everyone in town after. You put on my clothes? Yeah. You went through my stuff? <laughs> yeah, of course. I know I shouldn't have. <laughs> Put on all your clothes? It's great. What the Cloud. hell? You asshole! <laughs> it took us two weeks to clear up that clog in the toilet, Cloud. I oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. Cat in here. I gotta catch a glimpse of Sephiroth. Save it all. Gotta say it right. Take you up the mountain. My daughter. Look at his fucking dead. vest he's wearing. Oh my Keep god. Up. His vest is hilarious. You can still back out. What? No, Ryan Locker, I don't play a character in a vest when I'm not streaming. I, I'm not, I don't play a character in the vest when I am streaming. So don't worry about that. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Sweetie Proms. Come back here. I'll be your daddy. I sure am. Yeah, I'm exploring all these different areas and stuff. Way, way better than Midgard. Thank you to Sarah for a super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, kind of, I just remembered I gotta split the part. So, obviously, we're in the intro. And I thank you all for ch chilling with me here and joining me for the premiere of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Much, much more to come. I'll see you in the next parts. And thanks for watching. If you are watching this, I mean, this is part one. I hope you like it. Please consider supporting the playthrough in some way. If you're watching on demand, you can do a super thanks on the video or a tip in the description. If you're here live, you guys know what you can do, and uh, I'll see you in part two. Okay. So with that, we've hit the tier one tips goal, which means it is Gunner Glass's time. Remember, if we hit the tier two tips goal today, I will put on this incredibly authentic Cloud Strife wig. It looks so authentic. I don't think I've ever seen another authentic hairdo just like this one. There you go. But we have to hit the tip skull. We'll see what happens. Okay. Give me what I want! Oh no! Fossilized bird! No! Give me what I want! Fossilized drink! Give me the Batista meme! Give me what I want! <clears throat> Very good. For the record, I haven't even tried the wig on, so I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea how it's gonna fit or if it even will. I do have a giant head. It's huge. It's like a watermelon. So I don't know if I'll be able to fit that or not. I guess we'll see. What the fuck is going on? I got stunned? When an enemy is about to use an attack and cannot be guarded against, the symbol will appear and then you're supposed to die. I guess I got stunned. Do you believe that freaking Sephiroth got fucking stunned? By a bug? It's like, what? Sephiroth got stunned by a bug. Okay, sure he did. Kind of, uh, takes away the mystique of the character, huh? Next to be like, oh, sorry guys, I gotta take a break. I have to take a shit. So I have to split from the party and go poop in the, in the side of the table. Oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. <laughs> Dual blade dance! Stagger trigger, stagger trigger! Really? 
And I'm moving back now. Oh. They said in our flashback segment, we need something to do besides just button mashing. What what else should they do? Uh, how about they suck up some gas? That sounds like classic Final Fantasy gameplay. Push a big vacuum around, sucking up gas. Oh, okay. What else should they do? Well, uh, you see, Tifa's gonna have indigestion. She had a big, a big, like, Mexican chorizo burrito for breakfast. And now you, need, you have to find her, like, some tongs in the environment as well. That's a big part of it. <laughs> oh, okay. Anything else? Also, gas levels reduced by 70%. I can't release. <laughs> I can't release. Oh, it's an idiot talking about scat, so I'm just gonna ignore it. It's a dumbass. Okay. All right, let's continue. Get back. It's an ugly Mako beast. Do 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 do. Go play dance. To the Pierce and Pierce and Pierce and Pierce some more, and then do the sword slashing dance. Who mash the button? Mash the button. I want you to shut the fuck up, you dickhead. Come on. Ah! you, I got this. can't see anything. Like, how am I supposed to tell what's going on right now? Like, really? How in the holy hell am I supposed to tell what's going on right now? The camera is, is crazy out of control. I can't- look at this! It's in the wall. Watch the gas. There's a million fucking animations on this thing. Am I really supposed to know what's going on or just mash buttons, to be honest? I think they just want you to mash buttons. Right? Mash! Again with this? We don't have it. How do we get it? I don't know, I guess we should heal again. We can't do it yet. Follow my lead. Uh, great. I, I died. I don't know what I was supposed to do. He said, follow my lead, and he didn't do anything. I'm here. I can't do anything. Why? <laughs> Why can't I heal? Great. Stand up. Damn it! Not again. Get it together. Oh, gotta be careful. <laughs> Sephiroth. Blade. Asa. Just hold. There. Got ya. Take it from here. It just disappeared? What the hell? It just disappeared. Huh. So. A bunch of experiments that are in these pods they're accidentally being let free and that's supposed to be. There's a malfunction going on. And a giant room with a door that says Genova. <gasps> oh my god! Alright. Here we go. Once again, this is a segment that to me doesn't make sense, but maybe you guys will help me explain it later in the playthrough. Once there's a big plot reveal, I'm not going to spoil for those who don't know the plot reveal. Never knew it had a basement. It was news to me too. 
Not much of a basement, more of an underground cave, right? What did that say? Torn, torn B? Eh? Huh? Maybe it's supposed to be turned back? Turned back, but somehow it's fucked up. Yeah, look at that. They were supposed to have a texture on the wall that says turn back, but they accidentally removed the letters. So now it just says turn B. Oops. Ah, <laughs> they fucked it up. I wonder what they did that for. That's gotta be a mistake, right? They didn't mean to do that. Yeah, look, because there it is on the other side. What the? They fucked it up. <laughs> Bull. Goth awaits? Oh, I hate it when goth is awaiting me. I hate when goths are always hanging out waiting for me, right? Is that what that says? Goth awaits? <laughs> I can't what that looks like. It probably... Oh, you know what it's supposed to say? Death awaits... But again, it cut off. There's no D, and the E is half gone. So they fucked these textures up. Here's one in Japanese, but I can't read the Japanese one. Yeah, it's supposed to say Death Awaits. They fucked it all up. What does this one say? Pandemonium. And that one... Yeah, look! That's just bad... Boy, this whole room is messed up. Who made this room? They fucked it up. Why did they do that? It's so weird that they screwed it up like that. Possessed. Why was there no security to stop anyone from coming down here? It doesn't make any sense. Anyone could have come down here and figured this out. But this is all secret, like, secrets of Shinra. Why would you want anyone to stumble down here and read this? <laughs> in passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Mm, good. Though the truth eluded me at the first. Dancer, graceful dancer. I later determined that she was an ancient. Or a steward of the planet. As they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. Now remember, we already saw Genova in, in Remake. And it's a hideous, almost demonic looking creature full of magic. And you gotta wonder. When they found Genova, they said that it was like encased or frozen in time maybe it was like almost like in, in ice you know kind of like a, he's found like a dinosaur fossil or whatever but still alive and the question is did Genova always look like that or did Genova used to actually look normal like a like a, a, a beautiful creature but over time it decayed in the ice or whatever or could it be the Shinra experiments on Genova distorted and deformed it and turned it into that monster you know was it always like that because it's supposed to be like a source of ancient magic but that doesn't mean that it's evil, right? Could Shinra have turned it that way? was approved soon after. Asian. The crowning glory of Professor Gass. Wondrous experiment. Why would they leave all this evidence here for anyone to find? It's a big plot he hole. He created you? I mean, Hold seriously, on. especially because you knew Sephiroth was the one who you sent on this mission. It's almost like they intentionally did this. Why would they send Sephiroth, of all people, on this mission to the place with all the evidence that he is a creation of Shinra? Sephiroth. Doesn't make sense. This doesn't make any sense. So the one person who's a experimental creation of ours who's super powerful and is totally under our control let's send him to the one place where he can find out that we've been lying to him all this time that will piss hey, him off you. and make him go ape shit, right and, and by the way no security whatsoever on any of that data just let him go right down there <laughs> no way to prevent him from doing that the plot that's what i mean the plot of final fantasy 7 some of it's good and some of it's so and security. the first time i played the game I was like, wow, they really screwed it up. Like, after playing it more, it's not as bad, but still, like, the plot isn't as good as other Final Fantasies, in my opinion. They kind of screwed some of the plot elements up. So. Oh, lo, lo. Lo, lo, lo. Oh, man. Wouldn't that have helped? There's supposed to be water... Why is there no water in the water tower? Why is it empty? Who drank all the water? The whole point was to have water for something like this. If there's no water in it, it needs to be okay. 
Oh yeah, she totally looks okay. What a stupid thing to say. Please be okay. Look at the fucking house. You dunce. Please be okay. You wouldn't understand, you dunce. For I have been chosen. Yes. Goth awaits, Cloud. I believed in you. And that's all the time we have for today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no ending. Surprise, nigger. That's the twist. He just told a whole story for three hours, and she says that never happened. Or at least he wasn't there, so how does he know that story? Right? Cloud, you up? I am now. Rue woke me up in the middle of the night. Bad enough, Red's here, he's farting all night. And now you gotta wake me up when I'm trying to get some rest, man. Sulfur farts. Nothing wrong than nothing worse than sulfur farts. Sleeping on this uh, sofa. You know it must be pretty hard. I mean, why does he? But there are some interesting questions and kind of almost plot holes coming up later in the game. I don't want to spoil now for you guys, but I've always had these lingering questions about certain I scenes. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. <laughs> Guess so. I was it's so, so boring. Guess again, so. But maybe I shouldn't have. Yes, guys, can we please not spoil in the chat? You know, I don't know how you not know better. I just said I'm not going to spoil for people watching. So then someone that just says it in the chat. It's like, can you stop, please? Use some brains, please. Thank you. Brain dead. I, I totally know what you're talking about. Anyway, uh. So I'm just curious, we're level 15. So in the flashback, we were level 40, but the sequel starts you at level 15. Okay. Do we have any material and equipment? So right now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's Red? Why is Red not available? Now this is pissing me off because Red was one of my favorite characters of the original game. And now that you've rescued him from Midgar, I was of the impression he'd be a playable character. He's not a playable character in this game? Oh, come on! Seriously? <laughs> I hope this is bullshit, because you could use him in the, in the original. Why can't I use him here? What is this? Trapped in that lab. Was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt. Until it's paid. <laughs> I'm going to accompany you. Now he joins. Okay. That's better. Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. You think it would be weird to them to be talking to to Red because he's like, you know, mm -hmm. not humanoid. Oh, he's got a backbone. <laughs> party level: Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world deepens your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities are available in your folios. <laughs> folios. They do realize that's half of a word, right? Folio is not a real word. So he has... He doesn't have any accessory. Well, that's kind of messed up. He has... Oh, you're... You know, this person has mental retardation. All right, well, I think this is honestly a good place to end it. For this initial, you know, three hours. I'm playing more tonight, so. <laughs> uh, well, I have the stage, I just don't have an audience, right? I have no money now, I bought too many packs of cards. Oh, darn. Sounds like a lot like me. Me. With mobile games, what do you think? The light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. So you know what's funny? 
I, I actually said this in Remake as well. They actually give Cloud way more personality in this. In the original game, he's just like so stoic and cold and like no reaction to anything. And now he actually has personality. Like he remembered that moment, right? He would, you know, that's actually cool because man, he was a boring protagonist in the original Final Fantasy VII. It'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you? Well, are ya? Uh, watch your mouth. You're a kid, right? You're a small child. Why are you speaking like this? Good. Now I'm away from that annoying fucking bitch of a kid who I would have slapped in real fucking life if they talked to me like that. <laughs> I would have fucking pimp slapped that shit out of that. <laughs> I'm a big loser. Thank you. Never underestimate a cry, baby. Okay. <laughs> Limited with what I can do here. Okay. He's gonna buff his own card. Oh my god, yes he did. Okay. I currently only have one spot I can put a card. Look, then I can put one there, at least. But then that bottom spot, I can't put anything there. Like, there's no point. As long as he doesn't put a card here, I'm okay. But if he puts one there, I'm I'm boned. Let's see what happens. If he puts one in the, the top center, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Wait, maybe not. Oh! I can't even play a card. I lost. <laughs> I, I lost. Damn, this is hard, man. Again, the play, the placement is tricky. You, the other problem is you have no clue what cards they're going to have. So if you have no clue what the op cards the opponent has, you never really know how to play it. it. It seems very randomized. Jesus, he has a card that's plus six. How broken is that? He has a card that's plus freaking six. Oh my god. I have nothing. I have no good cards. I literally have no good cards that can be played here. <laughs> it sucks ass. He has amazing cards with giant values, and my cards stink. It's the beginning of the game, and the guy has a plus six card. What the hell is that? <laughs> Why does he have that at the beginning of the game? It's brokenly stupid. They're just kicking my ass. Look. Can't do anything to stop them. Oh, my God. No. Oh. I'm done. Like, again, I can't... I have no cards that can build spaces for me. So I'm getting screwed over. Oh my god. I'm done. Look, I can't do anything. This is so stupid, man. What a dumb game where the, the, the enemy has such better cards than you. You can't do anything about it. He's only winning because he has insane cards compared to me. He can't play anymore. How can he play more? So he's going to get nine in the middle and there's nothing I can do about it. And now I can't play any cards on the top row either. This is bullshit. Yeah, I'm done. It's done again. Like, all I can do is play a four. So it's going to be seven and nine and I still lose. Wow, this is complete fucking bullshit. Why the holy hell does he get such better cards than me? Alright, last time trying this shit. This is ridiculous. This is so broken. This is dumb. There's no reason for me to use this now. Dude, this is ridiculous. The cards you have are nuts. And they're all the right ones right at the beginning. To destroy me. They're exactly the right cards. At the beginning of the game. How the hell does he always have exactly the right cards? At the beginning. This is dumb. <laughs> what the? Yo, he has multiple of the same dominating card. This is so broken. 
He all, you, the, you know what's bullshit? You can't see his hand. The computer can easily be cheating. And just giving him the cards he needs. Instead of letting him have fair cards, he's just getting the cards he needs right from the beginning. Fucking you over. Like, wow, that's real fair. Ugh. Oh, this is better. I need to cover those spaces quick. What the hell? He's a plus four that also buffs all the cards around it. Gee, I wonder if he's going to beat me, right? Like, well, I don't have any cards like that. He has insanely broken cards. I can't do anything to stop that shit because it's overpowered as hell. I can't win now. He has a card that's four points and then buffs the other card around him and then surrounds him with other buffs. Wow, great card selections, you fucking assholes. There's, I can't do shit, I can't win. There's no way I can win this now. Watch, I'm gonna do this, and he's gonna take that spot. He's totally gonna take that spot. What'd I say? I said he's gonna take it, and he did, so now I can't win the second row either. This is complete fucking bullshit. What a bunch of fucking assholes. Why'd they make it like this? It's the beginning of the game. It's literally the first town. And they made this shit this hard? What a bunch of fucking pricks. The first fucking town. I never seen done like this before. I'm gonna try this. It's probably not gonna work. He's gonna take that spot that's a plus, plus three buff right now. Watch. What the fuck did I say? I said he's gonna take the spot that's a plus three buff. First thing he does, he buffs, he takes it and buffs it. How does he have the card to do that? Why does he always have the fucking cards? Fuck this, yo. What a bunch of idiots. Why is this in the game? This is the beginning. He has every perfect card. to get, For every situation, he takes every good spot on the fucking board. This is shit, dude. What the fuck? How did they fuck this up so bad? Here, I'm gonna do what he does, and I'm gonna start with Cactuar right there. He does that every time, so I'm gonna do it too. See, no matter what, I have no cards that can get me over to where I need to go. Here, I'm gonna do this. I need to get that plus three. I need to get that shit. At least that gives me the plus three buff, but he's already winning two rows, and we just fucking started. Okay. Ugh. Dude, what? He has the perfect card. I'm done. I'm already lost. This is the dumbest shit. Oh, here we go. Fuck you. Kill him. But wait, it kills him, but it doesn't remove the card's ability. How does that make any sense? Wait, what? You kill the card, but it still remains holding the spots as if it was still there, so there's no point in killing the card. I'm starting to lose my cool. This is complete shit. You, what's the point of killing the card? It doesn't make any sense. There's no point to killing the card if it fucking sticks around. Oh my god. This card is worthless, by the way. I hate this card. He took it. You're shitting me. Even with the buff, he took it. What the fuck? I told you, he has the perfect card for every situation. So no matter what I do, he always one-ups me and has something much better. So I can't stop it. How the fuck did he have the perfect card to sit there, take the spot, take the row, and buff? Right? What the fuck? This is trash. He has another Cactuar. Like he can put me this shit card. Here, I'm gonna try this. And you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna take that spot at the bottom. They're gonna take that spot right at the bottom. What did I say? Had a perfect card, takes the fucking spot at the bottom, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's complete trash. Well, I'm taking it back again. Oh my god, I might win it. Because I think they're gonna run out of spots. Oh shit, I think I'm gonna win it. 
Unless they have the most insane card you've ever seen, we won. Thank the fucking lord we just won. That was insane. Okay. Oh my god. We're done. Alright, I received a dollar tip from a troll. So fuck off, troll. Card. Alright, we did it. We beat everyone. What? How annoying was that shit? The motherfucker had. Oh, I, by the way, I got a troll for you. Raise your Queen's Blood rank. We're all the way up here. Oh, we haven't been up here yet. Oh, look. Scooby do boo 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 doo. Let's get started then, shall we? Lord Robusto got one. Lord Robusto, what a name. Okay, she wants to go up to the tower. Why is she running? Just walk slowly like a normal person. Why she got so much pep in her step? Gonna be a view of the I town. Think Midgar's this away. Midgar should be, yeah. Why are we looking for Midgar? Why do you want to see that shithole? We left Midgar. <laughs> so, did something happen between you and Tifa? Yes. Don't take her for granted. Too late. So to recap where we're at, I believe the reason that Shinra is following them in the town of Kam is because if you remember, at the end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, they escape uh, Midgar with Aerith, and Aerith is a, what the oh, she was sipping down. Aerith is a descendant of the ancients, and they want her because she has these magical mystical powers that they want to harness for their own technology, much like they've done the same with Genova, they want to do the same to her. Well, we basically escaped with her intact, um, largely in tow, and that's why they're looking for us. <clears throat> okay. And then? Hmm, no really. And then? Hmm, no really. Uh, from Grim Ripper. He says, I beat Baldur's Gate 3 a couple days ago. Just in time to play this. I pre ordered Dragon's Dogma 2 and Rise of the Ronin. That game comes out the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2. I got Stellar Blade. And we're watching Borderlands 3 gameplay. What did you think about the Borderlands movie trailer? I have not seen the whole thing. Um, I basically saw like like a clip of it, but I didn't watch the whole thing, honestly. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I think that it's pretty bad miscasting, only because the whole point of Borderlands is supposed to be these basically like, like hardened mercenaries going around right looking to get money out of a vault now there's there's comedy to it but it's supposed to be like dark comedy so the first thing i think of when i think of a hardened soldier that's going to raid a vault and make some money is uh you know uh uh kevin hart right kevin hart he's just a hardened tough guy so totally he, all all four feet of him yeah! no i'm not sliding kevin hart's active ability i'm sliding his height of course it's acting, it's fine actor. Just probably not for that movie. <laughs> He's, he looks stupid. On our new journey. You coming? Nah. I'll stop playing yeah. right now. Seventy dollars down the drain. Ain't that a bitch? All that money wasted. <laughs> so, true open world, adjust your battle party from the combat settings. Alright, let's do that. There's your map. <clears throat> Story is the exclamation points. Discoveries are blue dots. You can place manual pins. All right, let's change our parties up. Let's change our parties up. Let's change our parties up. <laughs> uh, so party. Didn't it say combat party? How do I set the combat party? I set the combat party. 
party, card decks. How do I set the combat? Is it combat settings? Here it is. Okay. So combat party, cloud, red. How do I swap? No. The memory ain't so bad. It's pretty bad, but it ain't that bad. I remember it. Transmutation materials. The materials required to transmute items can be obtained while exploring the world. Procure to combat. Purchase the cho at Chocobo Tax Shops. If you're ever in need of a specific material, take note of its symbol. Some of them are out in the world. Some are dropped by enemies. Some are hard to come by. Furthermore, pressing the, the touchpad and the item transmute. All right, fucking shut up. Can I play the game, please? I, I think what's neat is that they have the original tracks, right? You're dead. Oh, boxes. Braver. Oh, boxes. But I think what's cool is that the original music from the world, the world monster, but it's redone for this modern I version. A grassland wolf! Braver slash! He whiffed! He whiffed the Braver slash! Throws a battle, the enemy slumming with an equipment of summoning material may begin to stir upon and the summon gauge to appear. I don't care. We don't need it. Not it happens by itself, right? I think it just like auto happens or whatever. Wow man did a super test as well. Now it, it it I guess it was loud. It was much more than this. How do you keep up with game stories so well? You play a lot of games. Uh gotta keep track of them. You know, I try not to play too many games at once, but sometimes it's unavoidable, right? Like right now. I am playing quite a ton, and I think the key is to keep them in a rotation of variety so that way they're fresh in your mind. If you don't play a game for weeks on end and you go back to it, you're going to forget, right? Oh, uh, wow. Well, thank you guys for, for popping all of your, your stuff tonight. We have SB did his membership here, and he said, uh, play Final Fantasy XIV and become a cat girl? Uh, no. It's an MMO, so I wouldn't be playing it regardless, you know. Thank God. For thank you. 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 If I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera, I would do it. Might not want to switch until you learn the guard sticks ability permanently. Have we used it once? I don't even know how to use it. We didn't even use it once, right? How can you tell when you're learning to use it? Right? How do you learn it? I don't even know how you do that. I have no clue what you're even talking about. Like, how would I... Arcane Ward? How would I learn that? Doesn't even explain it. You're going soon? Okay, Jay. Yeah, I don't know, guys. It doesn't, you tell me how I'm supposed to tell what it's learning and how long it takes to learn it. I see no, no stats about that whatsoever on my screen anywhere. The bar on the weapon. There's a bar on the weapon. Really? Do you see a bar anywhere? I don't see a bar anywhere. I don't know. The same way it worked in Remake. You really think I remember that? You really think that I've, I've memorized that, huh? I need the stream chat to teach me how to play the game because the game does a terrible job at it. Look, we go Arcane Ward text. Well, you're telling me don't switch weapons till you learn the ability. We haven't even used the stick once. No, I'm using the better stick. This is silly. Yeah, nerf yourself and use a shittier weapon. No. No, I will not do that. Instead, I will actually just uh, use the better weapon and learn its ability. <laughs> how about that? <laughs> I will not use a shitty weapon. I will use what I want. The game will like you. Sorry. Keep it down. Shut up. When you're on the hunt. <laughs> I don't want to start over. Shut up. Pull the roll out of sight. Throw stones that you pick up. L1 and square. L1 and square. Oh, come on. What is this? I want to ride up on the chocobo. He said L1 and square. 
Does nothing. Target. And this will activate it. The Chad, the Chad module. As the towers close by, allow me to accompany. Oh no. The Chad module. Oh. Oh, you found the Chad module. Make good use of it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we are. Oh, use your Chad like module. <laughs> I'll just set that as the main party. I have no idea how you're supposed to switch the party orders. And then we have new materia. So, like they suggested. I don't get it. I just changed the parties, yet they didn't change. You see that, right? Why are they still the active party? I literally... Oh, here we go. Okay. That's a big boy. Look, I'm almost dead. Are they gonna heal me? You're probably not gonna be stupid, right? They don't just auto heal. They should, but they don't, right? They totally don't. Nope. I can't use his healing. No, I can't. I can't use a spell. I don't know why. <laughs> Not even close. Okay, yeah, can I quit? Can I can I just quit? Yeah, no no chance. I'm not even hurting him, right? I'm doing zero damage to him, so there's no way. We need to basically either I need to level up significantly or he I we need to weaken him. Why are they telling me how to fight his Tifa? The fight's over. What? <laughs> what? Oh, you can only use a you can only use the spell when the ATB gauge is filled. Oh, all right. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be beating Titan right now. Absolutely not. All right. Well, don't. I'm just gonna quit. Materia. I see. All right. All right. Well, I guess that's it, guys. So overall, I played this all day, and I mean, my honest take on it is it's it's for now. It, you know, a little bit of a slow start cho choosing ne Nibelheim before you really did anything, doing the Nibelheim flashback. Um, I guess it's good to get out of the way. Um, honestly, right now, I think the graphics are good. The music is great. The plot is getting interesting, which, you know, it already is in the game. I think the weak point right now for me is actually the uh, the combat. That the combat doesn't seem that good. But I, bet I get the feelings because we're so early in. There's nothing to it, right? Like, there really isn't. It's very simple, and you can tell there's a lot more to it. The timed dodges, the timed bl blocks that turn into parries, actually switching characters for different parts of the fight, right? All that stuff is a part of it um, that we haven't really implemented at all. It's just so simple. Such a simple thing. Um, so I'm hoping that as we play more over the course of this week, you know, it'll get more advanced. We'll learn more about it. Like, right now, I don't even feel like we had an opportunity to really learn the combat, because there's nothing to it, but it's gonna get better. I think it was like that with the first game too, if I remember, that I was kind of complaining in the first game it was too easy at first, and then it gets way more complex later on as you're leveling up and you need to do all these better abilities. You get material that buffs these abilities, gives you different abilities, and it ends up being really good. So, <clears throat> all right guys, well thank you 
for a great premiere day of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If you watched here live on stream, thanks for chilling. And if you supported this stream in any way today on the first or second streams, thank you. If you were here watching on demand on the channel, I would love to hear your opinions and your feedback. What do you think of the game? What do you think of the playthrough? Right? Please uh, leave comments. Like the videos. Consider supporting the playthrough with either like a super thanks if you can. Because a lot of these videos sadly are getting claimed for music, which makes no effing sense. No, a Let's Play should never be claimed for the in-game music, and it is. So I have to dispute all that. So you probably can't leave a super thanks on most of these videos right now. Um, consider a tip if you look at the description of the video. You know, but I'm, I'm you know, it's going to be a long one. And I'm playing it a lot this week to get a good chunk into it. I hope that you'll join me for those streams. And thank you all for a great uh, premiere day, all right? All right, guys. Thank you so very much. See you tomorrow for more. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The playthrough continues today as we are now in the open world area, the first open world area of the game. Um... And we're in the midst of trying to basically recruit a chocobo so that we can ride it around. The problem is, I think the mission for that... I'm trying to remember where the mission for that is. Um, cool. So, by the way, I hope you're enjoying my Cloud Strife wig. This is the wig that was donated by a fan to wear for the playthrough. Um, and I'm wearing it now. So... And now it looks like a buffoon. What a foolish human. So by the way, guys, I have rebalanced my audio on the streams in order to make the mic sound better. So if you guys think that the audio level is good, let me know. If you think the game is sounding too low and it needs to be boosted, let me know. I can do that. All right. I need to know what you guys think of the audio level when we play. Okay. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Whoa. Whoa. Don't lose them. I look like a poodle or an Iranian fella into the fly movie transporter. Huh? What? Anyway. All right. <clears throat> All blondes attack. Look at this. Oh, my God. Darziak already. We have an emo. Look at this. We've got an emo of me as Ken, me as Cloud, and then the new hair from today. Where I, I mean, let's be honest. I look more like Garth from Wayne's World than I look like... Uh, you know, Cloud, right? So Mia's Garth. <laughs> All right. Dance, magic, dance. Jump, magic, jump. Dance, magic, dance. So let me go get uh the gold vest. Now I'm being told I look like Doc Brown. Do I look like Doc Brown? I guess the, the wig is more... It's not as blonde, right? It's not as yellowish. So I guess that may be a good comparison. Great Scott! You're here for us, Marty! <laughs> 1.21 gigawatts! Okay. Always use the skill on your weapon if you want to learn it forever. How do I do that? I don't even know how you use a skill on your weapon. So basically, this combat system is completely outdoing Final Fantasy 16 right now. Showing how each character fights completely differently. They all are unique and interesting. Have stuff going on. But, uh... No, but like this, seriously? <clears throat> second day playing this game. Totally seeing the crazy amount of effort and the complexities that they put into the game already. There's so much going on right now. All at once. And the combat is going to be fun to unlock and do better stuff, right? Like, seriously, in Final Fantasy 16, it was so simple. It was just like... Rock, paper, scissors. Build this ability up, use it. Build this ability up, use it. Build this ability up, use it. Use your ultimate. Transform. Do that ultimate. Go back. Use it, use it, use it. It was just so... It, it was like playing Doom Eternal. That's what it felt like. This game, you can tell every character will play a little different. And will have little nuances you need to master. And that's cool. <clears throat> what is this? What is that? See that ahead of us? It's like yellow. Hey, Cloud. Do you notice any sparkling minerals nearby? Yeah, I'm staring at one. Just for now. And let's call the chocobo. The wig and glasses don't go together. Well, then we can get rid of the gunner glasses if you want. You want to do that? And I just have my beautiful, luscious locks. Look at this. It's amazing. We can get rid of that. It's fine. 
You spike it up like Cloud. To spike up the hair. <laughs> okay. Well, let's split the part. And when I come back here, we'll continue on open world exploring. Be right back. Hello, Pico. Alright. Pico, we're off to the next spot. If you guys are wondering why I'm not wearing the gunner glasses anymore, it's because people said this wig does not go with the gunner glasses. And I said, alright, I'll take them off then. That's fine. All I can do. I did block. It's, I'm telling you, like, it's too hard. When you're doing this combat, it's very chaotic. And there's stuff going on all around you. And all of a sudden, the enemy will, like, teleport to you and immediately hit you. And if you're doing, like, <clears throat> a melee combat person, and you're in your flow, it's easy to parry. If you're using magic like her, she's slow. She's, like, casting this spell. It's hard to block. Like, it's really hard to block. So I don't know how you're supposed to use her. I, I feel like she's kind of the worst character right now. Which sucks. I think she was better in the first one. There he is. Oh, I should have done Stardust Train. That's what we're trying to learn. There you go. Stardust Train. Oh, I can't do it. It's too. Can't see. Oh, I shouldn't. I didn't lock on. Alright, Stardust Train. Tried to block. Seeing red. Yeah, I can't block. I'm trying. And I'm failing to block any attack. Start us gray again. Why did it target the other wait, what? It targeted the other one instead of the one in front of me that I'm trying to pressure. Why did it do that? And now I'm dead. No way! This is weird. Now she what the hell? Brace yourself. Well, I guess we're not winning this, right? Once again, it didn't lock onto the enemy. I just noticed. How do I summon? How do I do this? It says you can... Call upon your other teammates to do a synergy. No, you can't. Use uh, no ATB. <laughs> no ATB. Can't do anything. What the hell? I can't do any of these. Look. What are they talking about? Do this thing that you can't do. Okay, thanks for the advice. Oh no! What do I do? Apparently, you lose. We can't win. Look, summon. We have four seconds left. Have fun. Fledgling summoner. Well, I'm dead. like this. The blocking is so weird. If you can time it, it's perfect. But sometimes you just can't do it. Like these enemies, I don't know their attack animations, so I don't know when to block. So I have to, like, learn every enemy's attack animation to do that block parry. Like, it's really hard. Things it's significantly hard. I tried to parry right there. Nothing. Couldn't get it. She probably sent it on stance. I have, like, half health gone already. Alright, sent it stance. I didn't even do anything, did it? In the meantime, Mai is just blabbing and they don't, don't hear a word she's saying. I can't hear what she's saying, right? I'm supposed to understand what she's fucking saying. Shut the fuck up when I'm playing the game! You stupid anime bitch. I tried to parry. Oh, and I helped too. She blabbed the whole fight. You couldn't hear a word she fucking said. <laughs> that was so dumb. They got this stupid AI blabbing. You're like, I can't understand a word you're saying. You're talking in the middle of combat, right? I'm trying to focus on the combat here. Blah, 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 blah. Like, what? And <clears throat> Nostalgia Critic had his own site called thatguywiththeglasses.com, and they were people who I watched their content before I became a YouTuber. You know, both of them, essentially watching them, 
make content let me think man even though i don't have a budget even though i'm not professionally trained i bet that i can make youtube videos that people would like because they're doing it and they're making great videos and they're getting lots of attention and i bet that i could do that too and then i did that's exactly what i did so kind of an inspiration honestly both of them at the time now as for today i don't actively watch their stuff i have seen some of the the more recent avgn stuff i think some of it's good and some of it's terrible uh because he doesn't really do it anymore it's like other people who do it for him and he's just kind of an actor now um so you're always going to get mixed results when you do that right um nostalgia critic i think still does all his own stuff but I just don't think he's as relevant or pertinent, you know, when he was younger and doing that kind of stuff. Now there's a million internet critics doing stuff, right? So it's kind of a different situation now. What the hell is a magic conch shell? Ambulatory... Oh, Ambulatory is like the magic eight ball. He says, if I had a magic, magic conch shell, would I use it on stream? Why not? I don't know how it would work. Like, is it the same as a magic eight ball in its implementation? So yeah, Amplitory, yeah, why not? If someone were to donate something like that, that, you know, you can ask it questions and it gives you answers and stuff, I don't see why I would not be interested in using that. Sure, why not, right? We had the 8-Ball for over a year. It was really cool. And then it broke. So having a replacement would be nice. Sure. Can't even see. I can't see anything. What's happening? I think I destroyed the arm, but I can't see. Oh, come on. This is dumb. That's really dumb. I couldn't even see what was going on. Great. Okay, did you take the arm? No, it's almost about to be broken. What the hell? This guy's kidding me. I can't fucking... Dude, there's no way I can keep track of what's going on. There's too much going on at once. This guy attacking me here. And they expect me to block while I'm also trying to pay attention to the other thing. I can't do that. Look at this. What is going on? How am I supposed to win this? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Yeah, I, now there's a synergy skills, right? So I want to use one right now. Iron defense. What just happened? It went away. What? Why did it switch to fucking... I didn't do that. I didn't press the D-pad at all. And now I'm using a different character. And I have no idea why. I have no clue what happened there. No one can use any Synergy ability. Now I can't use it. What the fuck? This is stupid. Oh my god. I can't do anything. I, wow, I healed and immediately got hit, so I lost it. What the hell, dude? He interrupts everything. I was in the middle of an ability. I was literally in the middle of an ability. When do I get to use an item? I don't even understand. I can't use synergy ever. Whenever I try to use synergy, no one has enough ATP to use it. Or ATB, whatever the fuck it's called. I just never have enough, so I've never been able to use a single synergy because no one has it. Now, why can't I use an item here? Limit break. Fire in the hole. This one right here is for the planet. 
I still can't use an item. Why did I switch? I didn't switch to red. The game did. I didn't fucking do that. It switched to red. I don't want to do that. Oh my god. Great. So many free. May your wisdom guide me. Why am I him? I don't know what's going on. Finally got one to come out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Red's about to die. I can't tell what's going on. Red dies! I can't tell what the fuck's going on. I don't know how you're supposed to. We won! But I couldn't see anything that was happening at all. It was so chaotic. I had a great time today. I think that this was, uh, honestly, a really good stream because we got to see what the game really is now. And even though, yes, there's still things I'm not understanding. I don't understand everything about the synergy attacks or whatever they are. Um... And every once in a while, the combat's, like, flustering me. But it's getting better, right? I had a good time today. I hope that you guys did, too. And tomorrow, we're doing it again. And we'll see what we can uh, what we can do for the uh, the rest of this open world. Maybe wrap it up. But anyway, thank you all. Obviously, thank you, everyone, for the support today. Thanks to everyone who chilled, hung out, gave me advice. And I'll see you all tomorrow for another session. If you're watching on demand, I hope you enjoyed today's stream. I thought it was really good. I hope to see you next time. All right. Until then, peace out. Hello everyone! Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. We're just starting today's stream with a nice choppy frame rate, as always happens, but then usually clears up within a second. Um, so if you remember yesterday, we had a heck of a fun day. We unlocked quite a bit in this open world. We bought a bunch of upgrades and items and materia. And I think what we were going to do quickly, we are going to see if we could actually do this other training mission. And if we can't, it's fine. And then we're going to continue on with the open world exploration. If you remember... Trying to kill the little guys first so I can focus on the big guys after. I just tried to block and it didn't work. Can't use items or spells. Great. Uh, we're gonna lose now. You can't even move. I just keep kicking him in his ass. Look. Don't think you'll walk away from that. We won. Even though Cloud died, we won. He couldn't do anything. He got locked into the, uh, me striking his ass. So by the way, I missed a super chat. Pizza Box Gaming had did a super chat at the beginning of the game, and said. Now that some time has passed, what do you think about Final Fantasy XIII? I feel like a lot of criticisms laid against it can be applied to this game as well. Uh, here's what I'll say. Final Fantasy XIII, alright? When it comes down to it, and you, you actually are watching it back, which I am, like my current playthrough, my classic playthrough, is being upgraded from my DSP throwback channel, and we post a new part of it every other day, a half an hour part. That playthrough is not like part like 33, so it's like 15, 16 hours in. And the, I think the overall playthrough is like 30 parts, or uh, uh, 30 hours, okay? Um, for me, the visuals of the game are good for the time. The music is actually quite good. And the gameplay elements, meaning the combat, is not that bad. In fact, you see the stagger system in this game? It almost is similar to Final Fantasy XIII in a lot of ways, this stagger system. Now, there's no active parrying or dodging in, in 13. What it is is you're using certain elements that the enemy is weak to to fill their stagger meter. And once it's filled, um, then 
you basically, here we go, then you basically, uh, you know, make them susceptible, and you can do things like juggle them and stuff, and they can't really stop it. Very similar to what you're seeing here. The difference is here you do it more by <clears throat> parrying <clears throat> than uh, hitting them with their weakness, right? At least from what I'm seeing. Um, the problem with Final Fantasy 13 is the plot is literally awful. It's, it's really one of the worst Final Fantasy plots ever written. It's confusing. It's boring. It's just not fun. And then on top of that, uh, the characters are not well written, which sucks. Because you want to like certain characters. They're hard to like because they're, they're so poorly written. <laughs> what is going on? I'm sniffing. I can't find anything. Look. There we go. And it has some of the worst pacing of any Final Fantasy game. Like, no exaggeration, I'm 16 hours into the game. And you still can't just do anything you want. You're still locked into only doing the main story. It's completely linear. <clears throat> and that's terrible. Like, when you're playing an RPG, you eventually want to have a semblance of control and freedom. Like, look, we were five hours, six hours into this, and then we got open world, and now we're having tons of fun. Imagine if you were 16 hours into this game and you still couldn't could do anything but linear story. That's Final Fantasy 13 in a nutshell. You can't get open world till the 20-hour mark. And that's just awful pacing, like really badly designed. So it's sad because I feel like the game would have been better if they took some advice of like, you know, is this plot good? Are the characters good? Do people want more open world or do they like the linear? I think they would have found out people want more control. <clears throat> Defeat the fiend. This fiend? A white terror. It's a rare monster. Let's do it. Got it. Bring it, nice Whatever. Dude, I'm almost dead. I can't. Come on. I'll take Whoa! Oh my god, what level is this? What the hell? Focus. It killed my whole party with one attack. What the hell is that shit? What was... Why is there an enemy for a quest that's your level that wipes your whole party with one attack? Why do we have no HP now? I'm supposed to do the fight with half HP now. What, are you fucking stupid? This way. You guys are very quiet in chat. What's going on? Why is no one talking at all? I'm sorry, I had to say it. I feel like people are just RPG'd out. I feel like if I didn't play Baldur's Gate, Like a Dragon, Sea of Stars, and now this, then you guys would like this game. But I feel like everyone has seen so many RPGs over the last few months that people are just RPG'd out and like falling asleep. I like the game. I'm having a good fun, a good time with this, and everyone's just sitting here quiet. You know, it's like, okay. Completely destroyed and vaporized. No one's talking. The entire chat is completely dead silent. I don't know why. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand it. I really don't. Okay. We trade this one in, and then we gotta go to the other one. Hopefully this leads to the windmills. Expand Donks is before jumping to negative conclusions. Make sure you are on live chat and not top chat. There's a lot of new... No, I'm on live chat. <clears throat> I'm definitely on a live chat. And people were very quiet. I was like, why is no one talking right now? Oh, shit. I'm not going this way. Green Mega Man, so what you're saying is you want me to skip all of the side content in the game that is in a huge amount of meat of the game that was added specifically for this version of the game that's not present in the original game. Just skip it and turbo through the story. That's what you want me to do. How about people show up and watch and enjoy an RPG or don't? It's an RPG. You're not supposed to fucking turbo through it like an asshole and misrepresent what it is. I used to do that 15 years ago. Everyone complained. Wow, you rush through games. Your playthroughs suck. Now I enjoy them and do all the content. Oh, that's boring. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Do you know what an RPG is? It's not to be rushed through and only do the story. <laughs> Jeez. 
I swear to God. Like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Never good enough for anyone. Everyone just complains constantly about everything. Jesus fucking Christ. If you don't like RPGs, don't fucking attend streams of RPGs. Boy. <laughs> Take that shit, motherfucker. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. If you eat that onion, do you get, like, 8 MP back? Tool says, how do I send a tip? Type exclamation point tip in the chat. You'll get your... Give me the money. <laughs> then bust out those cards, boy. <laughs> bust out your cards, boy. <clears throat> now I'm done. Now it's up to him. He's probably going to win. I have 13. And he has 12. Yeah, he's going to win. No. He already won. I can't even play. Yep, he won. See, he has two... This is bullshit because basically this guy has insane cards. He only, he only wins because he has much better hands than me. Because basically he's a fucking rich player. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I have the best fucking hand possible, so I dominate you. Right? It's not It's not that this guy is playing the, the thing well. He has insane cards. So he just kicks your ass. Like, well, that's fucking not fair. He's already winning. He already took over. I'm done. I can't do any moves. Look. Yeah, it's bullshit. Basically, he, the problem is he has the best cards, and he just lays them out and, and covers the whole board. Well, you didn't outplay me. You just have a much better deck than me. Like, why the fuck do you have such a great deck compared to mine? I can't do shit. So now I'm going to play differently. I'm just going to try to rush my cards forward if I can. Sounds like a lot like me. Me. With mobile games, what do you think? He's still going to win this because he's going to put a card there and he's going to win this row. But this will allow me to at least do a level two below me for more points. He had a low, he had a four point card. How is that shit fair? He had a fucking four point card. Four. That's insane. I don't have any fucking four point cards. I don't have a single four point card on my deck. So there's no way I could stop it. That's just insane and bullshit. So he's gonna win. Yup, cause he's gonna put down two cards and he wins. Cause he has four point cards. Wow. And then, think about this. On top of having a four-point card, he then magically had a card that kills one of mine. For the exactly the right spacing, too. This is shit. It's just unfair, the cards they give them. And they expect you to win these up front early in the game. Like, what are you, stupid? Give me a fucking fair shot. And they don't. They don't give you a fair shot. You just get fucking steamrolled. that he can only play one more card that's it that's it i just won he can't play now i blocked all the spots so now i'm gonna win no matter what yeah i just fucked him i totally just fucked him we won yep that's it we're done i could can't i could cancel right now we already won there we go so that's what you had to do. You have to rush him and take all the spots and then he can't put any cards down and you win. All right. Thank God, I'm done with this. I don't do any more of this right now, but we got the card. To be honest, this isn't the first card I've lost. Because you suck. And considering drinks. So, yes, I loved Sifu. I thought it was a great game. Midgar, left after the Sector 7 track. One of my favorite games of last year. Or two years ago, whenever it was out. It was great. Yeah, I'm mad because... It's ve a very flawed game. It's a game where all the, the rules are against you, and everyone just ignores everything, but you have to abide by the rules of the fucking game. It's not fair. Oh, you're fighting a boss. You can dodge every attack the boss does, but there's never an opening to ever hit the boss. Well, then why the fuck would I want to play the game? No, I mean it. Like, why? How is it fun to have enemies you can never hit? Oh, there's a special mechanic you should be using. You mean one that I never needed to use before to this point. So it's a puzzle game. It's not a combat game where you use combat to win. You have to know oh, every special technique used in this one particular situation. You never need it before, but you need it on this one boss. Right? What's the difference between that 
and a fucking Stormbreaker in fucking Dark Souls. A weapon you only use once against the boss and that's useless the rest of the fucking game. Right? When the fuck have I needed this special mechanic people are telling me of to, to, against anything but this boss? Never. What is it? It's a puzzle. It's not a combat game. It's a puzzle game. I don't like puzzle games. I like combat games. Headaches and dizziness. Probably my misspent youth. Paying the price for it now. Hindsight's 2020. Headaches and dizziness, huh? Anything else? Sometimes I hear voices, I guess, calling for me, urging me to go somewhere. What? Sounds pretty crazy. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. What is going on? He's hearing voices in his head. Thank you. It's this terrible scent. Uh oh. It's reminiscent of Hojo's laugh. What? Whoa. It's time. Time to go. To leave. What the hell is going on? Soldiers gotta make their peace with it. Now you know why I can't see any old doctor. You're a soldier too, aren't you? Ex soldier, actually. No, actually, he's not. <laughs> the oh, we already know that because we already same. played Final Fantasy VII. And who knows? You might be one of the lucky ones. Right. Just don't take your youth for granted. All right. You only get one shot at life. Whistle wind you scarf. Can't let Shinra take it from you. You can't let them win. You wanna know what's funny about that? No no lie. It'd be fun if we look for him together. Uh, hell no. Cool. Soul Psych Records did another super chat says we will pay you an additional $20. If you say Soul Psych is my new favorite band. So what do you want? You want like a Commander Shepard testimonial like in Mass Effect 2? Where he says that everything at the Citadel is his favorite? <laughs> yeah. So Soul Psych is my new favorite band. Here. Even if you don't pay me, I don't care. Alright. What's with this music playing so loud? Why is the music so loud? I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. What is this music playing? Is this a glitch or something? I can't. <laughs> what? Please don't. Oh, come on. Why is this music playing like this endlessly? It won't stop. It won't stop playing. Is this Soul Psych band playing right now? <laughs> it's Soul Psych. Can you hear yourself over the soul psych? I don't think you can. Does anyone hear it? I can't hear myself think. How do I stop this music? Oh my god. Alright, we gotta go back to town. Maybe if we fast travel, it'll stop. Look. Please stop. Stop the music. Stop playing the music. Yo, it won't stop playing. Okay, it finally stopped playing. Oh my god, that music was insane. So thank you, Soul Psych Records did a $20 super chat and says, Yes, we're keeping our promise. We love you, Phil. Best ad read ever. Thank you, Soul Psych. I appreciate that. Zero says, Can we get a retro or older game in the not Tomb Raider for rotation for variety's sake? We got dude, we are playing so many games right now. I can't I'm playing three RPGs and I'm playing a fighting game. How can I play another game right now? And then in two weeks, we've got the Battlefront Collection. The week after that, we got Rise of the Ronin. There's the possibility of Alone in the Dark this month. How can I play more games? You guys are asking for more games. The problem is I've gotten wrapped up in too many long games. I know that's what it is. These games that are 60, 80, 100 hours, I'm playing too many of them. I should have not played that many. But then people would have complained I skipped too many new games. So you're damned if you do. You're damned if you don't. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I received a $5 tip from Mr. Sega Lives. Can I get unbanned? I tried emailing you, but you never responded. Uh, I don't remember. If you email me again, like today, I'll look into it. 
be sure to send me the URL of your YouTube channel. I don't recall ever seeing an email from you. So if I don't get one, and you come back tomorrow and you say it again, I'll be like, well, I guess your email for some reason is getting blocked, and therefore that's going to be a problem. I wouldn't know how to unblock you if I don't know your URL of your channel. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. All right. We did that. Can't help. You are my bitch. Thank you for the free money. Fucking retard. Oh, by the way, here's a fake super chat. Let's just ban this guy. Here we go. That's a fake super chat, guys. Just ignore it. I took care of it. Moron. Okay. Um, so far, so good. I, I can't wait for more and story advancement next time when we play. For those who did support the stream today, thank you very much. Particularly um, at the end there, that Soul Psych uh, Records doing a, a bunch of super chats. I appreciate that. And everyone who chilled. Thanks for being a chill audience. For those who helped with the gameplay mechanics, thank you for that as well. And uh, I shall be back with more later on this week. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed these first big dose of 11, 12 hours of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth within the first few days. And now we will get further in next time around, okay? All right, thank you all, and I will see you for more soon. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It has been... Scorching breath. Everyone, keep your distance. Keep it fell unconscious because she stood literally in the harm's way. She's a complete idiot. Under the ground. Keep your guard up. Oh, great. Keep your guard up, she says, as I'm eating. I'll take care of it. Ah! Don't worry, I'll get you out. One more shot. How am I going to get him out? You're burning up. Get him. <laughs> uh, I think we lost. I can't get him out. Look. <laughs> I can't get him out. Aerith's the worst character. She really is. She's about to die. Great. How am I supposed to block that? Look how fast he is. Go on. I can't block it. He's too fast. Jesus Christ. Wow, look at the damage. Are you serious? Stay strong and carry on. Get him. I can't get Cloud out. Come on. Be I can't get Cloud out. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Don't catch another. Finally. I need to heal Cloud. Oh, I have no MP. So I have no MP, so now I can't heal Cloud. <clears throat> oh, I can't. This is fucking shit. I also can't lock onto his head for some reason. They won't let me lock onto his head anymore. Keep 
great. Again? Wow, he was out for like, what, 10 seconds? Wow, he was dead again. No this is way. stupid. <laughs> what a dumb fight. Kiva dies like instantly, just stands there, I'm dead. Can't get get past the, the fire. Staggered it. Thank God. Oh, well, we might just finish it here. I guess we beat it. Which is so weird because you don't do this in the first game. In the original game, you have to run from it. You can't beat it here. You don't need to decide how you don't play the video for this playthrough. Just fucking watch it roll. I can see how bad I am at this. Like, I'm sucking so hard, dude. What is happening here today? Usually I'm better than this. Guys, please refer to the pinned message on the chat and please abide by it. Thank you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bow, shit. Take care. Renewal also. Renewal? Well, you gotta think about the plot of Final Fantasy VII. At the end... What the hell? Is that a boot? Is there... Is there a random boot down there? I think there is, right? It looks like there was a ladder here. It broke. And there was like a cart, a mine cart. And someone's boot is just sitting there in the water. So they left, they made it, they survived, but they had to leave their boot behind. <laughs> okay. No, anyway, um, so if you remember the plot of this game, it's that, the, you know, Shinra is eating up so much of the Mako energy of the planet to do their magic and their experiments that it's destroying the planet. And it's, you know, Sephiroth basically wants to kind of shut all that down. Once he finds out that he's a living experiment and everything, he's just so overcome with hatred for humanity in general that he just wants it all to burn. He's still like a chaotic entity kind of deal. That's why he's trying to summon Meteor and destroy the planet. Guess what? Wrong. And so I'm curious, in, the, in this game, will it be exactly the same as that? Will they edit the plot at all? I, I wonder. I really wonder what they're going to change from the original or what will be very accurate to the original, right? Because you say re renewal. Well, actually, there is no renewal at the end. What happens, if I remember, the original ending of Final Fantasy VII is you defeat Sephiroth, and so Meteor... Meteor basically doesn't destroy the planet, but the planet is also left without the Mako energy. So it's kind of like they have to start over because all their technology doesn't work anymore. So it's kind of like they have to start this new generation of life starting fresh which is kind of interesting but a lot of things end you know and then doesn't it show like many many years later it shows that like at least like a descendant of red survives it shows like people that look like red 13 in the environment or whatever oh we have to pull this switch so i don't know if it would be called renewal i don't know maybe it could be like a renewal of life you know, starting fresh, perhaps? Wait a minute. Someone, Dakaze did a super chat, says, I love this is how you don't play, so here's your money. Okay, well, thanks for the super chat, I guess. You are my bitch. Thank you for the free money, dummy. And you can lick my balls. That's fine. If you Listen, if you like this is how you don't play, you're welcome to watch it and enjoy it for yourself. Uh, I'm not going to stop you. It's certainly not like it used to be ages ago where I used to be all sensitive and shit. So, yeah, go ahead. Thanks for the super chat. I unhit him. Yeah, don't moderate that guy. If he wants to watch this, this is how you don't play. He's entitled to it. Hilarious. Appreciate it. See you on the other side. Two grand. And don't you forget. Uh, so now you owe him two grand. Everyone owes everyone two grand in this game. Everyone owes $2,000. Very good. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Alright, we're all back together. Um. 
So what I was gonna say was, I think Tifa has a new weapon, Sylph gloves. Yeah, see reverse scale. Well, we have to map that, because if not, she won't have it. Yeah, yep, I was correct. Reverse scale. There you go. Oh, chakra. I didn't even know this. Chakra is an ability. Restore your own HP relative to damage taken. That's great. I didn't even know that was an ability. I thought it was like a spell or something. Okay. I love unbridled strength. Reverse Gale. Knock enemies to the air or bring them crashing down with a wind aspected attack. Launch enemies toward you. Oh. All right. That sounds good. That's a new ability. So this is party one. This is party two. This is party three. Okay. Cool. I like those parties. Um, did I play Dirge of Cerebus? No, I did not. Play Final Heart Quest The Last Resort XV1 dash 6A through Z. Sounds good. I like Super RPG Quester 2 Turbo HD Remix. All right, let's get out of here and on to the next part. I think we go to the overworld now. I don't know what's next, though. I think you pass Fort Condor, but you don't do the Fort Condor minigames yet, right? That's later in the game, <clears throat> if I remember correctly. Oh, shit. Look at this big boy. Two big boys. So we got to start using these new moves, like Reverse Gale. Harry. Up you go. Pressured and getting owned. Must be staggered. I missed the block timing. My fault. What? What happened? She used it. There it is. Damn, the giant giant took a health there. He was trying to hit me, he missed. Harry. Just trying to unlock her first scale now. Shit, missed the block. Got it there. Got it there, perfect. He's done. He's done. Nice. Poison materia has improved. Cool. I wonder what we unlocked. Probably a new spell. Who has the poison right now? We learned Biora, which is a level 2 uh, poisoning spell. We never even used the level 1. <laughs> did I play Sifu? Oh yeah, I did a full playthrough of Sifu, what was it, two years ago? Super good game. Really, really enjoyed it. Very unique aspect with the whole... You get older during the game, and you can unlock different combat styles and stuff. I really liked it. I actually went back and I beat it the the perfect parry way, the way where you not you don't really fight, but you just parry everything. I, and that's the harder way to beat the game, and that's how I beat it because I liked it so much. I just got turned around; I couldn't see what was going on. There we go. You know, but that's one of the things that no one would ever admit. I actually went back and played a hard game on the harder mode, like the harder style, and went ahead and beat it really easily, too. Like, the final guy, I think I beat on, like, the second try. But people will never admit that, that I beat, like, a difficult game in a very challenging way. Like, oh, Phil sucks at all games. Phil's terrible at all games. You know, anything to fit their, their broken narrative of not. Not bad, but not my best. It's been a, a couple of years since I played original Final Fantasy VII, so I don't exactly remember the order of stuff. But I think this is correct, right? It's this, then it's Fort Condor. But it's not, you don't do the minigame that time, I don't think. Maybe, I don't know if they've changed it in this one. And then you go past that. What's next after that? It's Cosmo Canyon, maybe? I think so. What a fucking idiot. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. He did not, hold on, hold on. He said he is Gabe. He did not say he is gay. Why would he just announce to you, I'm gay, by the way, in the middle of a conversation? I'd be like, I don't care. What are you telling me that for? 
He said his name was Gabe. Grow up. Oh, for <laughs> I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. We're totally gay. Haha. <laughs> Big Daddy Dub says, can you fusion dance Ifrit and Phoenix in this game? No, that's only Final Fantasy 16 and their insanely terrible writing. That you can do that. If those who didn't play 16, yes, that actually happens in the game. The two uh, monsters fuse into one. It's incredibly badly done. It's really stupid. Everyone, please uh, refer to the pinned message in the chat. And thank you for listening to the rules. Appreciate that. So doop doo boop scoop a nap ba ba boo doo boo I said a scoop a doop scoop a doop boo You gotta get the transmog recipe doop uh psychic charm does no harm helps your party Oh yeah gotta craft 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 Gotta sniff out that craft Where's the crafting stuff? You can never get enough Come on Do 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 Scoo do 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 Choke a bow choke a bow it's chocobo time. Sniff it out, sniff it out. Oh, 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 yeah. Come on. Now you can make an enhanced sailor's breast, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta oh, 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 oh. And then you oh, 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 oh. Follow it up with a oh. Here we go, here we go now. Chocobo, sniff it out, sniff it out. Here we are, right there. Chocobo, chocobo. Oh, 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 it's time for the chocobo. Chocobo, chocobo. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Elfa Dunk Bangle. We've done it. Mission complete. All right. We've almost hit party level four, which is pretty cool. Um, let's just take a quick look. I don't, I don't think we'll be able to do any of these. Oh, we can do a high potion or mixed high potion. We can craft a planet's favor? Whoa, that's huge. We need those so badly. Are you kidding? I thought the cringe was over. I was mistaken. Well, that was good stuff. That's a good way to end today's stream. M major, major, major advancement in progress, right? Hope you guys enjoyed. For those who are here live, I appreciate you. You are a great audience, very uh, interactive. And uh, thank you so much for engaging and, and uh, helping out here today and talking and keeping the stream interesting. I'll play this again Friday for everyone who's interested. This is actually Tuesday, and I'll play it again on Friday. So for those who are watching, like, on demand or you want to know when the next stream is, it's Friday's daytime stream. And we'll just pick it up from here. Maybe we will go to, like, Lower Junin and explore there. Maybe we can buy those bangles, and then we can just immediately uh, upgrade them. Right? Pretty cool. So thank you all. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's stream, and I will see you next time for more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Peace out. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and as you can see, we're off to an early start with support. I've got my Cloud Strife wig on, although it looks more like a Garth. I can't help but wonder where we'll I can't help but ignore you. So many Let's see what's going on in the tavern. Trapped in a water cell? What the hell? We'll Trapped in a water cell. Hang back. Oh, shit. Better off with magic. Great. There we go. Wait, now I'm grabbed? What the hell? I got limit break. Get over there and stagger him. Let's dance, asshole. What the? Huh? You're kidding me. That's the limit break. That's what the game did. Wow, that's amazing. Great combat there, game. Thanks for targeting properly. That was incredibly stupid. <laughs> I'm a retard. Uh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't you? You big moron. Dum, 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 dum. Uh... <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough Uh, does she have problems or something? Like, why is she acting like that? Thank you very much. Uh. <laughs> <Welcome>. <laughs>
What the fuck just happened? To beat that guy. What? <laughs> oh, you're, you know, this person has mental retardation. He buffed, he also buffed the bottom card. I'm done. Yeah, he won already. This is fucking bullshit. He has all the insanely good cards. <clears throat> I don't like it when you lose games because the other person just has a better deck than you. I've always hated that. Like, so basically, because you, whoa, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to draw that one out. But yeah, that pisses me off. Like the guy didn't outplay me. He just has a better deck, you know? The, he has one strength card, but the cards all hit in a giant diamond. Look, every single card he has is a diamond. Those are the rare cards to have. Yet, yeah, every card he has is the, the rare card diamonds. Watch, that card right there, whatever that is, that's sick. It buffs and hits multiple le uh, directions. It's crazy good. Oh, that might be really good. Let's try this. If he doesn't take the center... I might dominate the center of the map. Let's see if he takes the center. He took the center. Fuck. If he didn't take that, I could have used this guy and it would have completely destroyed him. But now I'm fucked. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm fucked. He's definitely going to beat me now. 15. The best I can do is 17 and then he has to put down all his cards. <clears throat> I think he's going to beat me. Well, let's see what happens. I think he's going to beat me now because I have no more spots. Yup, he already won. He has a card that's worth 13, guys. This motherfucker has a card worth 13. My best card is 5. His card is worth 13. How is that fucking fair? Do you see how bullshit it is? A card worth 13. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, dude. <clears throat> I'm already getting fucked. I am boned because he's going to win the whole top row and the middle row. And there's nothing I can do about it. Yep. Uh, I'm going to lose again. Yep. How the fuck does he have the perfect card to take that spot? Do you see what I'm saying? They, he always has the perfect card to take the spot. No matter what I do, he has the perfect card. It doesn't matter where I'm moving or anything. He always has it. I'm gonna lose. How does he have this card that's gonna magically take the one on the bottom? Right? On the bottom. From, he's from the top row, he takes the row the, from the bottom. It's like, what the fuck, dude? <clears throat> because he goes second, he always gets to take the middle. And there's no way to stop that. That's so dumb that he, there's nothing you can do to, to prevent it. He will always take the middle. And now I can't take it back. Ugh. That's it. I can't take nothing now. I'm fucked. Look. I can't take any other spots. <laughs> what the hell, dude? This is fucking bullshit. I'm gonna lose again. He has a card that massively buffs his middle row. Come on. So you know he's going to put a card down there, and then that's it. I can't do anything else. Yeah. That's it. Game over. Already lost. Because he still gets to put one on the top row. Which is probably going to win. And he gets to put two on the bottom row. Which is definitely going to win. Like there's nothing I could do to win right now. I'm definitely going to lose. Watch this. He has a 13 card by the way. Remember he has a 13 card somewhere. He already won. Fuck this. Dude this is complete bullshit. 
Why the fuck do you have such great cards early in the game? We're like 15 hours into the game. This guy's insano cards. One that's a 13 point and one that buffs everything around it by like five. It's like ridiculous. Whatever. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. Fuck this. That is complete fucking bullshit. How is that fun? Okay, guys. We try again. We gotta beat this fucking cheating motherfucker with the world's best deck. Only level four, world's best deck. <clears throat> yeah, let's get rid of some of the. The thing is, this card looks good. I don't think it is. It looks good, but I can never play it <laughs> effectively, like ever. So here's the thing, you know he's going to get the center spot. So I should not play there, because he's going to take the center and then he wins. So what I should do is I should actually take other spots now. Like this, yeah. Or this. One or the other. This will buff the top to be a three, so let's do that. The key is to take the center. Like, once you take the center, you're gonna win. But it's very tricky to figure out how to do it or when to do it. Yes. Okay. Of course he has that card that takes the bottom spot, and it fucks me over. I'm fucked now. He's gonna win. Watch. I guarantee you he's gonna win. All I can do now is play my highest playing card and get a ton of points. So now I'm done. It's up to him. But he at watch. He's going to have insane buff cards. You ready for this? Every card he plays is going to give him insane buffs. I'm calling it right now. So he's already won the top row. He did not win the bottom row. He has to win the middle row or I win. I win. He just won. He won, yep, he won. Because he gets to play in the middle. He has to, well actually no, it'll be a tie. What happens in the case of a tie? We don't even know, do we? Because if he, he has to have a five card for the middle. He does! He has a five! He has a five card that buffs all the cards around it by like a million. What the fuck is wrong with this game, dude? Right? <laughs> what is going on? Of course he has the perfect card. For the center. That completely just instantly wins the match, even though I've played well, right? This is horseshit, man. Fucking trash. Once again, depending on what I play, if I play center, he's gonna take he's gonna take it. And nothing I can do about it. If I do this, it doesn't help at all. It'll buff that card. Alright, we'll do that. We'll buff that one. I bought all the boosters. What are you talking about? I bought all the cards available in the game. <laughs> I have all the cards. <clears throat> He's waiting for me to take the center. He's literally just sitting there waiting for me to take it. <clears throat> See? Because if you, if you go here, if you take the center, then the other person takes it back, and that's exactly what he wants. Yeah, that's exactly what he wants me to do. I almost feel like going first gives you disadvantage. I do. I feel like going first is giving me a disadvantage in this shit. Now, if I do this, he's going to take center back. But then I could take it back. But then he could take it back. Yeah, see how tricky this shit is? Let's see what happens here. Yeah, what did I say? So now I only have one spot that I can go in. And then if I do that, he takes he's going to go up top and he's going to take that and then I'm done. It's over. 
Jesus. This is ridiculous. Watch. So now he gets to go. He's going to take this top. The, he's going to use that top spot to take the other two. Boom. See? So now he gets another spot there. Like, what the hell? <clears throat> so I lost. There's no way that I can come back from this. Nope. This is insane, dude. Carl Jr. says it is a disadvantage to have to go first, but you can always skip your first turn. Oh my god, it's happening again. There it is, take over all the fucking spots. Of course. I'm pretty much done. Again. Yep. This is fucking stupid as shit. This is so annoying, man. Why did they have so, so many good fucking cards? You cheat ass fucking game. A million great cards. And all, he always has them in his hand at the perfect fucking time. It's already over. The game is literally already over. He always has a card that can go right where it needs to be to take the next spot towards the center. He's never without the right cards. Cause I think, I, I wanna know the truth, I think the game cheats. I think that it fucking gives him, just lets him draw whatever card he wants out of his deck. So no matter what he has, he always has the right card to take the center. And he always gets it. No matter what, it's like, why the fuck do you always get it? Every fucking turn, you have the right card to take the center, no matter what. Oh my god, I finally win. What a pain in the ass. Got it done. All right. That was a pain. For once, he didn't have the card to take the center. All right, that this looks like a good card, right? For a, for a, a two cost or a two, two level thing, you're gonna get to take a lot of spots around it. And you buff a card behind you too. Yeah. When was the last time that happened? So, they save a random person coming through town from a monster. And they get free rooms because of it? Why? What what stakes did they have in that girl surviving or not? You know what I mean? Like, they didn't have any stakes in Yuffie surviving, so why do they care? Is it me or is me a lot of female characters, like, a lot? Well, the plot of Final Fantasy VII is... Essentially, he keeps running into various people in the world. I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. It's so awkward. Like, what? Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? I don't understand. So, was, a was this an attempt at small talk with him? But he's not interested. And that's what she's saying, like he's changed. What happened from when she knew him as a kid and now that he's a cold dude and doesn't really care about these conversations or being friends, right? I think that's the point. But it's hard to read because the fucking writing's so awkward. <clears throat> I think that's the point of what just happened. She's trying to be warm and friendly with him like they used to be, but now he's being cold and she doesn't understand why. It's like confusing. Or like, are you really the same person or what? Like, what happened? What changed you? Right? And then, the other thing, when he walked in, he said, I regret what I said in calm. What does that mean? They said a bunch of things in calm. The first thing he said to her was, how are you still alive when I saw Sephiroth slash you? Or, you know, are you an imposter or clone? That's what he was implied, right? And then she showed him the scar. But then the other thing he said, there was another thing he said too. But who knows? Like They're like referencing conversations from a while ago, it's like, I'm supposed to remember exactly what you said. Can you, like, grab a flashback or something so I know? I guess not. I was supposed to memorize what they're, they're talking about, I guess. <clears throat> okay, is that it? Yes. Okay, go into my room now. Ava Cowboy fan says, He pretty much responded to Tifa saying something along the lines of, You may be right when she said she shouldn't have talked to him about the past. It's just so weird. He doesn't want, why, 
Are if you were like if you knew this guy when you were young, right? And all of a sudden you run into him when he's older. Now he's a mercenary. Okay. But then every time you talk about the past, like he knows he remembered the kid. He says, "Oh yeah, I'm Emilio, the kid at the, the the vendor at the shop." Right? So obviously he's the same guy. But then why is he so weird? He's a weirdo. He's a fucking awkward weirdo. What the heck? When I first played this game in the 90s, I thought he was an emo. I'm serious. Like, I would say, is he emo or something? Like, he's just awkward, keeps to himself, doesn't want to talk. Right? Like a grim, brooding dude. He's so bizarre. And he's, he's the protagonist. Like, why is he like that? He's weird. I, I'm just going out of Final Fantasy VI where every protagonist was interesting. And he's like the most boring guy. President Rufus freaking Shinra! <laughs> Crazy or what? What is? Oh my God! She's so obnoxious. She's and too much energy. Will be here any minute now. She's weird because no one else in the game is like this. Everyone else is kind of stoic and paced, and she's like over the top, energetic, and it clashes so hard with the vibe of the rest of the game that it seems ridiculously out of place. Like she has something wrong with her that she's acting like that, right? If everyone was energetic in the game, it would make sense, but no one is. She's the only one. They're here anyway. Enjoying. Why does he talk like that? My, my, why is it a tear? How long do you intend to keep me How waiting? long? Oh. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get it. Oh! Well, news for you, young man. Gamers are fags. Fuck you. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Oh, ribbit! Hello. Calling all frogs. Ribbit. 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 <gasps> Execute clown mode. Ribbit. You're a kid? Do you want to give it a try? Ribbit. Uh-oh. Help us! Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Ribbit. I tried to warn you. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Bubble breath. Ah, ribbit. Stagger. Ribbit. 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 Leapfrog. Blue ribbit. Ha <laughs> ha Ribbit. 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 Damn, ribbit. Ho oh, ho. Ribbit. 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 Ribbit, 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 okay, ribbit, 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 ribbit. All right. Clown mode activated again. That's right, because a sneeze is clown mode. Oh! You don't have to jump, you just follow the thing. Wow, this is so hard. Oh, Ribbit! What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Oh! Damn it, I got another one. If I make the minute 20, I get the third reward. Deactivate the clown mode. 
Maybe there is a reason. Anyway, I received a tip. I received a dollar for the tip from Beaver Bother. It says, why are you cosplaying as Maximilian Dude? I know he's the poster boy for Final Fantasy VII and all, but seriously. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know why you think I look like Maximilian. I'm, I'm supposed to be Garth from Wayne's World. It's ridiculous. Would I get a hair transplant? I'm, de I'm debating I might just get a whole head transplant. Like, just get someone else's head on my body. Because mine is not looking too good anymore. There's too many problems. You know, like ugly, sagging, wrinkles, fucking hair loss. It's disgusting. I smell. My ear infections. Just fucking replace the whole head. I'm gonna go for that. Basically, you guys are tough seeing my big ugly ass fucking face. You don't want to see it on stream. You'd love to see someone else's face on this stream, right? So, get someone different. There you go. I hate my mom, but I'll take her money. Looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry. Here, Chadley's here too. What? No! 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 Oh no! There's three more Queen's Blood matches. Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! I saw you on the news. I was blown away. No no. You can take both. You probably take one or the other, but probably can't take both here, right? So I'm gonna try this to see what happens. He took both. Unbelievable. He had the card to take both. <laughs> I have no level two spots at all. Zero level two spots. All I have are level 2 and 3. That's it. So I can't put anything in the level 1 spots because the game didn't give me ever any level 1 cards. Look. It gave me no level 1 cards at all in my deck, so I can't do anything but play this card. I don't even have a choice. Dude, it did it again. I can't play any cards. It gave me all level two. It, it never gave me my level one cards. So because I have no level one cards, I can't play. I literally can't play the game. So he wins. How is it my fault you never gave me cards to play? I couldn't even play. <laughs> well, I really was outplayed when the game gave me no playable cards. Wow, thanks. I mean, I really just got destroyed there. Let's see what happens here. Of course he has the card that does double in front. Now I lost. Yep. Because he has exactly the right cards at all times. You're not outplaying me. The game hands you and deals you the right cards. I never have the right cards. This is fucking stupid. They made a card game where literally the game just cheats constantly, giving the, the deck the proper buffed deck to the enemy. And they always have the right cards to take over multiple spots that you need. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Did no one playtest this shit to see if it was fair? It's completely unfair. I do this, he's gonna take the center. But then I should be able to take it back, actually, with that level two card there. If he takes the center, I can take it back. Yup. All right. Ooh, this is interesting. Now I get, I keep the top. He can take the bottom, but I'll keep the top if I do this. 
Yeah. This is the way to go. Okay. Guess what? I'm about to win. He has no spots. I'm about to win. Nice. He can't play. I'm about to dominate. So this is a five-pointer. Win. Yep, I won. Thank God. I make a good blonde. Gee, thanks so much. Really appreciate that. I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> All right, I won. Don't even need the other spots. I already won. Okay. New card is the Flame Trooper. It's interesting. It's it's only a one a one use card. It it buffs three behind it. Oh no! Wait a minute. When destroyed, lowers the power of allied and enemy cards on affected tiles by three. That's weird. That's a really weird card. God huh. damn, dude! You legit wiped the pit yes, again. I did. Shut up. An upbeat I knew. Oh, I can do one of these days. He's still talking. Shut up. Uh, wow, excuse me. I'm so sorry, everybody. That was wildly disgusting. I'm sorry. That came out of nowhere. An insanely disgusting belch. Oh, man. That's disgusting, dude. That's seriously nasty. Challenge completed. Lightning materia, two stars. Cool. All right, that's the only one that was available, so we'll probably equip that. So play cool oh to me a dollar says the mini game's not mandatory. Side content isn't. It's okay to leave some stuff to do and come back later. Even in chapter nine, you can easily beat these or visit these again. Don't force yourself to 100% it. Why though? Like I, I don't want to come back later and do it. You understand? Like when I'm done with the region, I'm done with the region. I don't want to go back there later for no reason, just because I didn't do the card games. I, I'll just do it now, right? That would, that would be pretty dumb. Oh, I left all the side content until later. So let me go back and do it later now because I skipped it. I no, I'm, then you. I'm just not going to do it, right? So, nah, I'm going. <laughs> if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it now or never. The way I see it, I'm only getting 200 viewers a stream on this game anyway. I might as well just play it to enjoy it for myself because it's obvious I'm not. I don't really have an audience for it. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's just another RPG among 400 RPGs this year that people just aren't caring about. So, I'll just play it at my own pace and enjoy it, right? I want to do. I want to do all the queens stuff. So I'm going to do it and just get it done. If I do this, I buff, but I lose. I, re I Basically, I'm done now. I have no spots to take. Yep. All right. Pretty nice. Okay. All right. So, everyone, I think it's time to save up and uh, adjourn for today. I'll be playing this again on Tuesday's daytime stream. Okay. Okay. So I hope we'll come back on Tuesday and continue on with the Junon region here in uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, I'm enjoying myself. I hope that you are too. And uh, looking forward to more. All right? So thank you all. Great progress. Great content today. Good chill vibes. Thanks for the support. And I will see you next time for Rebirth. Peace out. Well, everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's uh, been a few days since we last played and arrived here in, I believe this is called the Crow's Nest. And we have unlocked quite a lot of content in this area. Yeah, see, Gaia 1 is really behind. Now he says, seems like people would pay for you to talk. You don't need to play any games, just do podcasts, laughing out loud. I agree. What I've noticed recently is particularly, I've been playing so many RPGs. My mainstream audience doesn't like RPGs. You guys who are here today are my core audience, but it's not considered a mainstream gaming audience. You know what I'm saying? Uh... And basically, a lot more people are now tuning into my podcast than the gameplay. Like right now, for the podcast, we had over 400 people. Right now, for gameplay, we have 265. 200 people left because they didn't want to see Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> you see, I'm, listen, I'm appreciative of those of you who are still here, but I find it pretty crazy how different you know we it is. Right? It used to be the opposite. It used to be more people were here for the gameplay, but I'm seeing that audience flip a bit now. Seriously? These things? Won't take long. These little things? Come on.
So you do the uppercut and then you do the dive kick. That's how you found it. Uh, Sarah, literally no one reaches out to partner with me. No one will because the amount of people who just shit on me on the internet. I'll never get a partnership. You understand that, right? I've been around doing this longer than most content creators. I've got more experience doing it. I can attest to games better, right? I, you know, but no one cares. No one cares because of online hate. It's, just, it's that fucked up. Online toxicity is too strong, and these companies don't want to have their products associated with it. So they would never offer me that kind of stuff. They said it was uh ice. She doesn't have ice. Nope. She has everything but ice. Touring Fury. Let's do it, I owe you. Good to go. Yeah. Go. Right. Thanks. You're missing. You're not hitting. Oh no. Alright. That was great. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Orange says you probably played more Final Fantasy games than the people who actually work at Square Enix now. You're right. <laughs> you're. I mean, you're right. <clears throat> you're absolutely right. I likely have. Oh, I totally agree. Gaspavelli says, This combat completely takes a dookie on Final Fantasy XVI. Yes. Final Fantasy XVI is just endless. Oh, there's the Moogles! Final Fantasy XVI is button mashing. This is actual, like, combat. You know, having to go through different abilities. Doing team-ups. All kinds of... Oh, my God. There's all kinds of stuff over there. And Trudor says, I cannot wait for the Star Wars Battlefront collection. I pre-ordered it. That's cool. I'm, I'm definitely getting it. I can't wait to play it on Friday. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that was great! Oh my god! Do 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 do. And now the chat has completely clammed up and stopped talking, and I don't know why. Oh well, I'm gonna keep playing, guys. <laughs> I don't know why you guys are clammed up. <laughs> how to see their stats? Like, I want to see their weaknesses and stuff, and I can't remember how to do that. I know it's weak to ice, but how do I see that menu again? I guess is the question. All right, guys. Uh, what great music. I hope that this, this plays for the rest of the game, actually. I hope it never stops. <laughs> that would please me more than anything. If that was the case. Instantly killed. Come on. I saw you take that hit, you know. And they call you the pro. No, lock onto the grand horn, please. That's standing in front of you. Stop looking around. What, what just hit me? Oh, come on. I killed it. Okay, so now it's pressure. Limit break. She missed! Are you shitting me? How dumb are the limit breaks in this game that they just whiff? Right? This is incredibly stupid. <laughs> I fucking missed completely. Stagger. He never really increases stagger. He hit, he did. Go on. Keep it together. Let me Oh wait, is there another is 
killed their enemy now. Shit. Got it. Okay. Temporarily grants unlimited MP. Raises the limit level. Look at that. Really work? Not really. God damn it! It missed again. Kill it? I did. Okay. Oh my god, he's moving away. Ogre's dead. Are we gonna stagger this thing? Come on. Yes, he's gonna get staggered right now, finally. Almost dead. Oh no. Let me guess, you're gonna come back with like tons of health. A bunch of enemies just showed up. Cloud's dead, idiot. Uh. My wife is arriving home, so I have to get Jasper out of the room. He's already up and looking around. So, guys, wait for a second. I'll, I'll mute the mic. I'll get Jasper out of here, and then we'll continue on. We almost won, but we're definitely gonna beat it. It's just annoying. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Cloud just died like an idiot, so we have to revive him, obviously, and then we have to finish this fight. I mean, do I waste her limit right now? No, I don't want to waste her limit break. Good luck. Here goes. Oh my god, she immediately got fucked up. Oh my god, can we not get this? Are you kidding me? Wow, that was fun. Why did I just get hit by 400 attacks at once? I can't even block. I'm trying to block so I can heal. What the fuck? I can't even block. Are you shitting me? I'm at the end of the boss fight and the game does this? I'm literally at the end of the boss fight. 
I couldn't do anything. What a waste of my time. Wow, fuck you. How about fuck you? I didn't fuck up. At the end of the fight, one of my characters dies, and then you just pummel me with nonstop attacks that I can't get rid of. I can't block or dodge, and I just lose instantly. Fuck you. I mean, that was terribly done. Are you kidding me? How stupid was that? Wow, that was pathetic. I'm dominating the whole fight. I'm playing it right. Oh, fuck you. I decided that now you're going to get pummeled by unstoppable attacks and all three party members just instantly die. How about, no, fuck you. That's terrible game design. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. You can't stop Rebirth Flame, right? You can't. Rebirth Flame is non unstoppable, hits you with tons of damage, and then it summons enemies. Yeah, you can't stop that. It hits you no matter what. Now look at our health. I'm dead. What the fuck? He killed two. It killed two of us. What the fuck? Out of nowhere, I lose two people. What is wrong with this fucking game? I can't use an item. Items cannot be used in this fight. Oh my god. I love how the final part of the fight is attacks that Not you bad. can't dodge, can't stop, and just take all your health and you can't use items. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, we got it done, but man, it's annoying. Alright, we got Phoenix. <clears throat> that was So let's recap this situation. <clears throat> I did nothing wrong, okay? Why I'm targeting another one? Why am I targeting the other one? It doesn't make sense. Why do my targeting change? I didn't do that. Do you know what I mean about this game? The combat? It's fast, but it's so fast-paced that sometimes the game loses track of what's going on. I never changed my targeting. I'm locked onto this guy. Get the game targeted a different enemy entirely. I didn't do that. Why did I do it? I don't know. Damage there. There you go. Let's do this. Oh, done. Wait, it's not done? It didn't die. Yes, it did. That's weird. At first, it looked like it was dying, but then it did. Wait, it didn't? It was dead. <laughs> I totally thought it was dead. See, so you see what I'm talking about with the targeting? I was fighting this guy, and it untargeted him. So I'm thinking, oh, he's dead. No, he was alive. It just untargeted him literally for no fucking reason. Why did it do that? So this will do, let's see. Use on stagger, post to increase potency and extend stagger. No, we want temporarily give unlimited MP, I guess. He was dead. Uh, okay, sure. What happened? I don't know. We didn't get to finish it. We didn't finish the synergy ability. Yeah, we got we got cheated. We were doing a, 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 a synergy, and he just interrupted it as if we weren't even doing it. He didn't care. Wow, that's great. Where'd he go? Wow, I was rolling. It hit me anyway. You're like nothing. Am I gonna heal me? No? Well, now I'm dead. Thanks. No way! 
You'll see. You What the hell? Huh? What a great game, huh? Out of nowhere, it just insta kills your whole party. Oh, that's a great gameplay. Uh. There's a danger symbol that is an unblockable. You can't stand there and take the hit. You saw a danger symbol? I can't... Dude, during this combat, it's too chaotic. I don't fucking see any danger symbol. I didn't see anything. I literally didn't see it at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how I'm supposed to see that. Thanks. No way. You'll see. You What the hell? Huh? Read, nigga! Read! Yeah. It says, it says, you need a vest. Is it gonna upgrade the vest, is what they're saying? I guess. I guess it's saying it upgrades the vest. I don't know. Oh, so I did it. Oh, relic quest line? Let's get it started. Proto relic quest line. This means next time that we play, we'll probably be focusing solely on story and Ju Junan. All right, guys. Well, it's a good place to stop because uh, I'm out of time. And next time around, we can do the big finale fight and whatever combat trials are and the VR thing and then the story. So I feel next stream of Final Fantasy VII will actually have some really good progress, right? It seems that way. Like, we'll have some pretty solid progress into the story, maybe even finish the story of Junan, which includes, if you remember in the original game, some funny stuff, some stealth, right? Some trickery. And, uh, and then onward, so we'll see. But, uh, I want to say thanks to everyone who chilled with me today. A nice, relaxing stream of the game. It's, let me put it this way. I like the game a lot. It's not flawless. I think my one major complaint is... Second open world area felt very samey to the first. I like the location differences, but the quests are almost the same. Um, and in combat, I don't like that when I'm fighting faster enemies or aerial enemies, that the camera moves around so fast and the lock-on tends to screw up. I don't like that. You know, the lock-on should stay on and allow me to keep tracking and attacking those enemies. Several times today, the lock-on would move and then I couldn't aim for the right enemy. I thought I was hitting the same one and it wasn't. I was like, well, that's annoying. But um, but outside of those those smaller criticisms, I still love the game, and I'm looking forward to more. You know, now we're about 21 hours in, uh, and I'm sure there's way way more people actually saying if you do the entire game and all the content, it's like 100 hours and like another 100 hour game, huh? <laughs> like oh, oh, another 100 hour gaming experience. Seriously, right? It's like oh, well. <clears throat> Anyway, guys, thank you. Again, for those who were here and chilled, thank you. For those who supported the stream, thank you. I hope to see you next time for Final Fantasy VII this weekend. But in the meantime, safe, peace out. See you later. Bye-bye. It Actually, guys, today is the last day that I can say this. Because today, we're finishing two of these games. All right? A third of these games will join the regular schedule. And then after that, we're just going to focus on other style of games until we get to the point where we feel like it's ready for another RPG. I'm not playing multiple lengthy RPGs together again. I just can't. It's not possible. If I do that, um, it's going to kill the channel because it has. Just, just being as honest and transparent as I can be about this, this channel has massively declined in the last two months in viewership, engagement, and support because I've been playing... Baldur's Gate 3 and Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth so much. Now, I want you to just think about this. If I didn't do that, okay, if I hadn't focused on those two games so much in the last two weeks, 
and of course kept playing them over the last two months, we wouldn't be done with them today. We would still be playing them, likely for another one to two months. Can you imagine if I was still playing the same RPGs come like May or June? <clears throat> that would be insane, would it not? Um, but again, this was a symptom of RPG overload. All these game designers and game publishers releasing their insanely lengthy RPGs within such a short window of time. The exception being Baldur's Gate 3, but I started that in December, played it through December and January, and then when February, when all these RPGs were releasing, I was still in the midst of it, right? But I mean, in such a short period of time to release the insane amount of RPGs that these game companies did is just ridiculously ludicrous. And it's funny, <clears throat> because when I started talking about this months ago, in January, when I suspected this would happen, everyone was like, Oh, Phil, this is just a you problem, not an us problem, because you're the game streamer, and you're the one trying to play these games on stream and juggling them. It's not a big deal. All of us, we're RPG aficionados. We'll, we'll play these games. We'll turbo through them. Here we are, end of March, and we've got even people who are RPG aficionados in this chat every day saying, you know, I had to put Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on hold because I wanted to play... Dragon's Dogma 2, and by the way, there's another game coming out in a week that I want to play, and there's just no way I could play them all. So I had to put that one on hold. And I was like, what did I say? This is exactly what I told you was going to happen. <laughs> 100%. This was a horrible, horrible idea from these game developers to release this many games in a short period of time. And by the way, if you haven't heard, the sales numbers are reflecting this. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? is actually selling less than what was expected. They thought that it was going to exceed sales numbers of previous Final Fantasy games, and it has underperformed. It's not sold as well as they had hoped. And I would guarantee you that other RPGs coming out now are going to start to see this exact same effect. Simply put, you cannot release this amount of games of the same genre within a three-month period and expect that it's not going to cannibalize each other, and that's exactly what's happening right now. <clears throat> so... I'm just happy that we are at the end of the tunnel today. Tonight, And by the way, how crazy is it and how wild is it that we are finishing the two longest running games on the same day? I had hair in my mouth and I can't get it out. It's bothering me. Anyway, um, yeah, like, how crazy. I, I didn't time it that way. It just happened. You know, it looks like Elden Ring's going to clock in at slightly over 140 hours, I believe. Let's see. <clears throat> Baldur's Gate 3, here it is. One, oh, we're already at 141 hours in Baldur's Gate 3. So after the epilogue tonight, it's going to be at least 142, if not more. And Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is clocking in roughly around 64 hours. Now, arguably, out of the two games, I obviously played... Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 a hell of a lot more, and I did almost all of the meaningful side content, right? There's a few missions that I skipped in Baldur's Gate 3, but none of them are very significant, you know? Like, some people are saying, oh, there was a mission to get the uh, the undead slaves of the Necromancer. There was a, a mission where you go to Jahara's house, and she has some reminiscing and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, I get it. There's some things I skipped, but for the most part, everything meaningful that I found in the game I did. In the case of Like a Dragon Infinite Well, I literally had to purposefully skip stuff. There's tons of side content in that game to do. I just can't do it. I mean, it would probably be another 20 hours on the playthrough. No exaggeration. We'd be here another two, three weeks playing it, going around doing all the cosmic here, you reminiscing, and this and the the uh, Date side quest where he meets up with people from his past and everything. And listen, I get it. This is supposed to be the swan song for Kiryu, but again. It's just insanely bad timing. This channel is a business as well as a hobby. If it were just me sitting here playing games for fun, absolutely I would do more content in Like a Dragon, but it's not. Like a Dragon has been, no exaggeration, my least supported playthrough I have ever done. Yes, it's official. Less supported than when I played the Mass Effect Legendary Trilogy and Mass Effect 3 had streams where, like, you know, I made $5. Actually, Like a Dragon's done less than that. In some nights. Now the thing is, I love the series. I love hanging out with you guys with late night chill streaming. And so I stayed with it so that we could hang out and have these fun times. It was basically kind of fan service continuing the game as long as I did. 
because a lot of people actually urged me to drop it. And I said, no, I'm not going to be like other streamers that if the game's not profitable for them, all of a sudden, they're just going to drop a game. I'm going to tough it out. I love the franchise. I want to see this game ending, you know. And I, by the way, I will say this. Since we went into turbo mode and essentially stopped doing the side content and instead just pushed forward, the game has gotten a lot better, I feel. I actually feel like um, basically focusing on the story and the, the party's job system and weapon leveling has actually been way more fun than kind of doing all the side stuff. The side stuff's quirky and interesting in the game, but man, when you got other stuff going on, and the fact that this playthrough's now been going on for two months, because it started in late January, yeah, I had to draw the line somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, really, this playthrough has been fan service for like a month, while a lot of people are saying, drop it, drop it, drop it. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to stick to my guns. We're going to finish this game, and then we're going to have, have a celebration. And essentially today, guys, as, as happy as I am that the games are ending, I want you to know it is bittersweet, because I know a lot of you have enjoyed these games. Particularly with Baldur's Gate 3, we've got a regular audience of people who've come by to watch me play Baldur's Gate 3 every single time that I've played it and to support those streams. And I know <clears throat> that now a lot of those people might not be around, and that's okay. Because that's the, the thing with a variety channel like mine. Depending on what game I'm playing, I might attract a different audience that might not be around if I'm playing a different style of game. And here's the thing. There was a lot of people who did not attend my streams over the last two months. The dip in views says it all, okay? People not showing up to stream and not coming to watch the on-demand videos because these are insanely lengthy RPGs that they're not interested in. People are like, where's the horror? Where's the action? Where's the variety? There really hasn't been much, and I hear you. So what's going to happen is, <clears throat> after today, the celebration of completing these two games... We're going to say adios to the RPG crowd, perhaps, because there will still be an RPG in the rotation. I'll talk about that in a second. But we're going to probably see a whole new crowd of people who've been waiting in the wings, saying, when will these end? And they're probably going to come in. All right? In fact, I just want to kind of explain to you some of the plans that I have for what I'm going to do with the schedule soon. I think you're going to like it. Um, now, the other two few things that are factoring in. Factor number one, my wife and I want to begin a co-op game. Beyond Two Souls. We haven't done a, a true co-op ever. You know, we did some Q&A streams in January. And then in February, we attempted to do Dondoko Island co-op in uh, Like a Dragon. That didn't work because the, the mode was so boring. After two sessions, we were bored to tears. So we talked about what we wanted to do next. So Beyond Two Souls is a game she's always wanted to play. She loves the Quantic Dream games, okay? She's never seen a playthrough of it. She's never done anything with it, all right? And she's wanted to. And I'm like, well, why don't we do it together? Uh, you know, you could control the main character. Maybe I'll make the decisions for the supernatural character. And we could do co-op commentary or whatever. I haven't played play the game since it was new. And it was new in 2013. So it's been 11 years since I played this game. Okay? I'm sure I won't be remembering half the plot. Okay? So that'll be good. I think it's going to be a fun playthrough. But the question is, when am I going to start it? I don't know yet. Because it's really reliant on her and her schedule and, and how she's feeling. You know, originally I thought maybe we'd do it Monday. And she was like, no, I really don't want to do it Monday because I'm going to be probably beat after getting home from work and everything. And I'm like, all right, well, maybe we'll do it Tuesday, Wednesday. She's like, I'll think about it. I'll let you know. So when we solid solidify that, fair enough, that's number one. The other game that I'm very, very interested in bringing back basically as soon as possible is Elden Ring. And the reason is we are all hyped. The Elden Ring DLC is coming in June, right? About mid-June, I think they said, right? It's about middle of June. I can't remember the exact date or whatever it is. But, basically, I am in the midst of a second-run playthrough that I began last year, and I put it on hold, essentially, when we got into new games like Street Fighter VI, okay? And I am excited for the returning of Elden Ring, all right? But just listen to the big variety I just said, and by the way, out of all those games I just said, only one of them is truly an RPG, Dragon's Dogma 2. Now, you can argue, oh, but Elden Ring is, yeah, but it's really its own when you say Soulsborne, that's its own genre, right? It stands alone. It's different from all the other games in that in the rotation. Especially, it's going to be different than Dragon's Dogma 2. So there you go. Now, <clears throat> for all the people spamming FF7 in the chat, you can shut up right now. Because we've already discussed this. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth did absolutely poorly here on DSP Gaming. Alright? I played about 20 hours. And it did not do well at all. 
People were not showing up for the streams. They were not engaging. They were falling asleep and talking about unrelated things and actually saying it was boring when they watched me play it. The support was ridiculously low for a brand new RPG playthrough. And at that point, I said, oh, maybe it's because of RPG overload. But if you want to know the truth, I don't think so. I don't think that was the case at all. I think it's just people aren't digging the game as much. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not saying I'm never going to go back to Final Fantasy VII, but if it's, I'm not going back to RPG Overload. I refuse. If I'm going to choose between two RPGs, I'd rather play Dragon's Dogma 2 than Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now. But I might go back to Final Fantasy VII in the future. Maybe when we get through Dragon's Dogma, we're looking for another RPG, we can go back to it. But I'm not playing two major RPGs at once. I'm not an idiot. We literally just did that for four months. I'm not a moron, and I don't care how many people spam the chat and whine like babies about it. I'm not killing my business further because in reality, as much as I enjoy RPGs, they kill this business. Literally, Baldur's Gate 3 hurt this channel badly for the last two months. I want you to understand that. That was a sacrifice to get through an insane game like that, and I'm not playing long games like that ever again. I can't. They don't fit my formula, all right? Even if they came out with Baldur's Gate 4 tomorrow, I would not be playing it. I cannot play these kind of games anymore. They don't work, okay? For as much as people came by the streams and supported them, the channel itself has dipped so badly. I'm not kidding you when I'm telling you I am down thousands of dollars a month. Compared to before I started Baldur's Gate 3, this channel has dipped in views and support by thousands of dollars a month. So you may think, oh, but the streams do well and the streams are great, but that's not a business. That's half of the business. One side has done good and the other side has completely faltered because of Baldur's Gate 3. Literally, that's the cause and effect reason it's happened. Okay? So I can't do that shit anymore. I can't. I'm not going to be doing uh, this kind of insane stuff anymore killing this channel. All right. Okay. Um. So. Oh. No, I'm not playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth now. I already said I'm not. It didn't do well when I was actively playing it, and I'm gonna be playing Dragon's Dogma Two. So it's that or or one or the other, and I've chosen Dragon's Dogma Two over Final Fantasy VII. I'm just more interested in it. Okay. It's that simple. Fair enough. Okay, so, there we go. That's that's what's going to happen. Starting tomorrow, it's going to be Dragon's Dogma and Alone in the Dark balanced. I just don't know the order yet. We have to figure that out today. I'm down for either. Sunday is React Day, starting with Bully on the Late Stream, which is going to be fun. Monday, again, it's going to be Dragon's Dogma and Alone in the Dark. Tuesday, we'll get some variety where I'll either play Battlefront uh, or co-op with my wife. And I am looking to integrate, uh, you know, Elden Ring into the schedule soon. I just don't know when yet. Maybe we'll do it start it next week because next week we won't have the Friday of finishing these RPGs or whatever. So I think that's what we could do. Okay? All right, Cream Sardine, would you like me to ban you now or later? Because I just said I don't want anyone bitching about this and you're bitching and I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm not going to have anyone bitching about Final Fantasy VII at all. Zero. Every complaint I get about it, I'm going to say shut up because I'm not killing my business over this. And if you say it one other, another time, I'm going to ban you. Because I've just had enough of this, this entitlement. Oh, I, I just want what I want, nothing else. And I'm going to sit here and whine and complain. But I just told you the rationale of why we're not doing it. Respect that. No, I want it anyway. Me, me, me. Shut the fuck up now. Now I'm telling you, shut the fuck up. I literally just had my channel dying for four fucking months. I'm not doing it again because you're going to be entitled about it. All right? I understand if you like Final Fantasy VII. Personally, I was liking the game too. I was disappointed with the reception it got on my streams. It was way low viewership, way low engagement, way low support. And I was like, wow, I was shocked. I thought it was going to do way better than it did. And to the point where I was like, well, if anything goes onto a, a hold status, it has to be this game because it's just not doing well, you know? So I've just, I don't want to hear the whining. I'm the one running, trying to have a business here, you know, doing variety content. This is not DSP RPG. And I'm not playing RPGs nonstop all year. I'm just not doing it. I can't do it. I will go out of fucking business. You understand me? I will. I will go out of business. Not every RPG I play is going to have people coming by like what happened with Baldur's Gate 3 and supporting every stream in a huge way. In fact, if you didn't notice, with Final Fantasy, it was actually really bad. So stop with the entitlement. 
because that's not how how this fucking channel can work. I wish it could. If I had my way, we would play way more RPGs. I want to make this abundantly clear. I love RPGs. I grew up playing them in the 90s. But that's not what keeps a business afloat. People want balance, okay? And they need to have variety. I'm not going to be listening to a vocal minority of people who are going to sit here and whine and then basically get my chat just caught up in crap. I'm just not going to listen to it anymore. I'm going to do what's right, which means balance, which is always what's worked for this channel. And then when I stopped listening to that and I played a bunch of RPGs, it failed. I knew this was going to happen. I called it RPG Overload in January. Everyone's like, ah, no, not a big deal. And then what happens? I, I'm not kidding. My views are way down and the profit on this channel is way down. Just because people come back every day and will, you know, tip on a, on a Baldur's Gate 3 stream, that's great. But what about everything else? What about ongoing memberships? What about people who would super chat when there was a great game that they enjoyed? All those people are gone. You understand? They literally left because they're like, dude, you're playing the same fucking RPGs every day for four months. We're tired of it. They want variety. There's people clamoring for new games to come into this situation or to have something like Elden Ring come back. They're tired of the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So everyone, I hope you understand and if you don't, sorry that I can't give you everything you want all the time. As they say, you can please some of the people all the time, all the people some of the time, but you simply can't please everyone all the time. What we've had this year is a situation where unlike previous years, where there would be a giant game that everyone wants me to play. Like, for example, last year at this time, Resident Evil 4 Remake came out, and everyone said, play that game, and I did, and it did stupendous. Views, support, everything was amazing when I played Resident Evil 4 Remake. Right? Because that was one game everyone was hyper-focused on, they wanted to see me play. This literally hasn't happened in 2024. It's been some people want this, some people want this, some people want this, some people want this, and I can't please everyone because I can't play eight games at once. It just doesn't work. I, I skipped certain games outright. People are upset about that. I've played certain games. so people are upset about that. So it doesn't matter what I play or what I skip, I'm still on the wrong. So I can't please everyone in a situation like this. I can't. We have to get to the point where eventually there will th be things everyone wants to see. I know what that's going to be. The Elden Ring DLC. Everyone wants to see me play the Elden Ring DLC. Oh, uh, ex me too. I'm very excited about it as well. Okay? <clears throat> so, I'm excited for that. And uh, I hope that you guys will get hyped for that. But until then, we have to play other games. Right? <laughs> we can't, I can't just fucking play non-stop RPGs. It will not work. So that's it. And I'm putting my foot down. I don't want to have anyone whining in the chat about it. I'm giving you a heads up. We're doing variety for the next two months until the end of Elden Ring DLC comes out. If you don't like variety, you're in the wrong spot. This is not DSP RPG, where I get less than 200 views a video because no one cares about lengthy RPGs, and then I go out of business. We're not doing that anymore. We're actually going to do variety content. Okay? Fair enough? Thank you to those who are being understanding, really. But if your people are going to be stupid about it and complain constantly, I'm not going to put up with it. Because it's, it's that kind of attitude that, sadly, people don't understand is very toxic. There's a difference between saying, man, I really wanted Final Fantasy VII and I really enjoyed it, but I understand why you can't play it right now. Versus, I want what I want, and if you don't give it to me, I'm going to act like a spoiled brat and just stand in your chat and whine and complain and make everything toxic. There's a big difference there. You see? <laughs> There's a huge difference. <clears throat> this, this would be the equivalent... And I know you love the food references, right? You go into a restaurant and they used to serve your favorite dish. For some reason, they just can't serve it anymore. So, if they're not serving the dish you don't like, you stand in the restaurant and scream at the top of your lungs, why don't you serve the dish? Why don't you serve the dish? Why don't you serve the dish? Or do you leave and go somewhere else? Right? Or, just maybe, if you're actually kind of adventurous, Try a different dish, because you might like it as much as the old one, right? Or maybe you'll like it even more. So just maybe, instead of screaming around for Final Fantasy VII, which ain't happening anytime soon, stick around and watch another playthrough, and you might like it, instead of just being a whiner about the thing that you are so entitled and demanding for that I'm not doing, okay? And again, it's not that I didn't give it a chance. I absolutely gave Final Fantasy VII a chance, and it didn't work. It just didn't. People didn't show up. 
they were bored and said this is they were completely disengaged that's how you can truly tell when a game just isn't resonating with an audience when people are completely disengaged they're literally not even talking about the game in the chat they're doing everything they can to completely <laughs> derail the chat because they don't care about the game being played on it at all and that's sad when that happens you know what i mean i want to have a stream that people are engaged in supporting and enjoying and if i can't do that then why am i going to continue to play that game okay all right guys so <clears throat> we got through all of that that took a while i want to talk about my day off yesterday from james nichols which i already answered this but people keep asking the same question over and over you ready I promise I'm not trying to be ungrateful or troll. I'm curious. You were adamant this last month about finishing Like a Dragon, even though it barely got any support and bad viewership. So why do you not care about finishing Final Fantasy as much, especially because it's the second part of a trilogy that you may want to finish up in the future? When you consider returning to it in a dead period, you were so early in the game, and many of us are still looking forward to it. Well, I already answered this a million times, so let me answer it again. I like the game a lot, and I actually want to continue it, and I would probably continue it in the future. So I don't know why you're asking that, because I've already said that I probably would. But it would have to be a time when we're not playing other RPGs because I'm not doing RPG Overload again. I don't want to play more than one RPG at one time anymore because it's just too much and it's too much for the channel and it makes the views go down, it makes the engagement go down and people are tired of it. In regards to Like a Dragon, this is a game that I was planning on playing for many years. I couldn't wait for it to come out. When it came out, I was very excited for it, but of course it's a night night stream and people don't really like the late night streams as much. It's more of a chill vibe than anything else and it's not really a moneymaker for me and never really was intended to be that, but I knew that I wanted to play it because I like the franchise so much. It's funny because everyone's like, just quit like a dragon, but it's like, but I already played like a dragon for two months. I'm not going to drive it after two months. I'm going to play it and finish it at the end. And then Final Fantasy VII comes out and it performs just like, like a dragon. Well, why don't you play Final Fantasy VII like a dragon? Well, because I like like a dragon more than Final Fantasy VII, so I want to play like a dragon and finish like a dragon because I'm two months into it. Okay. So now go back and replay that on half speed and you'll get my answer. Because I didn't want to sit here for 25 minutes repeating myself. I'm not offended. It's just I've answered these questions a zillion times already, and then people keep at re asking them. <laughs> so enjoy your answer, your, your micro machine's motor mouth answer. Okay. <clears throat> yes, at one point, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth was my most hyped game of the year. Then I started playing it, and no one really cared. Kind of kills the hype, don't you think? <laughs> don't you think? The same thing would have happened if we were in opposite order. Let me make this clear. If Final Fantasy VII had come out at the end of January, and Like a Dragon had come out last month, and I played it in that order, I would have finished Final Fantasy VII regardless of support, and Like a Dragon would have gone on hold. It's just, they're interchangeable at this point. It's just the order that they came out. That's the only difference between the two. Haley says, oh my god. I have to repeat this again. Listen, why are you making a compromise for Like a Dragon but not Final Fantasy VII? Because Like a Dragon came out first and I invested more time in it. I just answered the fucking question. Could you please, if you're going to be on a chat and you're going to be like watching a stream, before you ask a question, could you make sure that you don't have anything lodged in your ears so you can hear when I speak? Because I've already answered your question. It's just a matter of semantics here at this point. It's just a matter of timing. Like a Dragon came out first. I was invested over a month into the game. And then Final Fantasy VII came out. I'm going to finish the game I'm more into. Right? If it, was, if it was flipped and Final Fantasy VII had come out first at the end of January, I would have continued to play that game. And then Like a Dragon would have been on hold in the same situation Final Fantasy VII's in right now and would have come back at a later date. Like I said, I'm fairly certain I will come back to Final Fantasy VII later this year. It'll end up probably being a late night chill stream that will play over time. And it's probably going to be heavily story focused, not doing much side content. Because the side content, people were saying they were bored of it. So I don't see the reason to continue it, especially if it's not necessary for the game. Why didn't I play Helldivers 2 when I played Battlefront Collection? Because Helldivers 2 is an online co op game meant for co op with a party. Okay? Battlefront is not. Battlefront is a competitive, team-based shooter. You can drop in and out easily. You don't actually need to have, like, verbal cooperation or anything or coordination with your party. You do in Helldivers. That's the whole point of the game. <clears throat> Ellie says, Your answer was cut off by a commercial. Why did you curse at me? Because you could have hit rewind on the live stream and listened to the answer already. It's, it's the most stupid thing I've ever heard. The streams on YouTube, you can rewind them to hear answers. A commercial doesn't make any difference. You're full of it. 
<laughs> nice try, though. That's a really nice attempt to recover there. It didn't work, though. <clears throat> Lucky Gremlin, I swear, like, again, you're not listening. People just don't listen to me. I literally just explained, did I not, that Helldivers 2 versus Battlefront, two completely different styles of game. One is a cooperative game where you need to team up with humans and communicate versus enemies that are computer controlled. That's the point of the game. EVE, team co-op. Right? Communication is key. Co-op is key. Battlefront is a drop-in, drop-out, team-based, online, competitive game against other humans. You don't have to communicate. That's not the point. It's just shoot things. The one thing I will say is, I, I here's the one thing I'm happy about. Because I want you to understand, guys, that even though a lot of the things I say, no, 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 I want you to understand that I, I appreciate the fact that you want me to play all this stuff. People want me to play Final Fantasy 7. They want me to play Hell Divers 2. They want me to play. That is so much better. It's much better to be in demand, right? Than to not. I'm so appreciative of that. Even though I get frustrated when you guys want me to play 20 different games at once and I can't do it, at least the demand is there to see me play the games. You want to see me <clears throat> do this stuff. And I appreciate that so much. Because the opposite is worse. It's way worse to be forgotten. That no one cares. Instead, it's the opposite. You want to see me do all this stuff. And that's very appreciated. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I know. See, Justice Lawman says, We're tired of RPGs. We want other games. Exactly right. I know that. That's why I'm giving you... Big variety. That's why I'm doing Alone in the Dark. That's why I want to try Battlefront again. That's why I want to bring back Elden Ring. And that's why I want to do a co-op with my wife that's not an RPG. That's exactly why I'm trying to do all this different variety right now. Shout out to the outsiders, and I'm okay with them now. I don't care. Like, oh, this is how you don't play? Fuck those people. I don't give a crap about you. This is how you don't play anymore. I don't. You know, I would rage, and what would happen, it would just make it worse. So there's no reason to waste time on it anymore. That's why you don't ever hear me address the shit anymore. If they want to do edited style content videos, I don't give a fuck. I haven't cared for a long time. Let them do it. I don't care if someone makes a this is how you don't play montage. I don't care if someone does that kind of stuff. That doesn't, that doesn't affect me at all. It doesn't affect me at all. My viewers are going to watch my stuff no matter what, so say what you will about the quality of the gameplay, they don't care. If anything, I've proven still being here after 11 years, those videos are not going to end me. If anything, a lot of them give me more attention sometimes, so I don't care. Let them do it, right? If you're watching this so you don't play, I'm totally okay with that at this point. I don't care anymore. It's not really a big deal. Make fun of my gameplay, I don't give a shit. Any form of edited content you're okay with people making about your stream? I, I said a million times, I don't care what anyone does. Okay, we want to make a montage of Phil failing, a montage of Phil raging, whatever. One thing again to make fun of me for stupid shit that I do on my stream. You want to live restream and joke about it? Fine. Lampoon me all you want. You want to make this is how you don't play videos? Fine. Make fun of my gameplay all you want. I could care less if someone illegally restreams me, if someone makes a, a, neg a negative video about my gameplay. Who cares? Now people will not watch the original content. And 10 years later, why do I, would I give a shit about this is how you don't play today? I don't. Let people make them. I don't give a shit. Let them all do it. You know what I'm saying? This is how you don't play. Started because I didn't really care about the quality of my playthroughs. I thought the whole thing was a joke, not taking them seriously, <clears throat> acting like a fool. And essentially what happened was overnight, <clears throat> when I turned off the comments, this is how you don't play died. Not to say that people don't still try to make them. You're very much the outsider. But when people try to do this stuff, it's just not popular anymore. There's no This Is How You Don't Plays that stack to come out in the modern era that get any kind of traction compared to how they used to. I mean, we're talking videos that used to get tens, or if not hundreds of thousands of views, and now they can barely get to 10,000 views half the time. No one really cares about that crap anymore. I don't do that. And I should say that. I never do that. People tell me all the time, oh, Phil, someone claimed this, someone struck that down. It's never me. It's literally never me. I've never done it. I don't do that. I People can do whatever they want with my content. I'm not going to stop them because I don't have a lawyer to sue people. I'm not going to bother with that shit. 
So anyone who ever, ever gets affected by that, I swear to God, God's honest Bible truth, it ain't me. I don't know who's going around all the systems impersonating me and shit and getting away with it. It's never me. Holy shit. That is an epic fucking intro, dude. Welcome to the Outsiders channel. I hope you guys are ready for some outsider fun today as I make fun of the buffoon named Darkside Phil. Right, I tell you, tell you how terrible he is as a content creator and a gamer and a person. I'm just going to sit here and do a big expose on him right now. Surprise, Cuckfag! Devour!